Ladies and gentlemen, on the ring two side, we are going to get started with your open full blood main on juice show. We are excited to welcome our judges today, Mr. Chan Phillips and Marcus Arnold. Chan Phillips is from Mount Vernon, Missouri, where he lives with his wife, Tanya, daughter, and son-in-law, Morgan and Sam Wallace, and son and daughter-in-law, A.K. and Jordan Phillips. He is the manager at Circle M Farms and partner with brother Keith at Rock and Pea Livestock. His associate today is Mr. Marcus Arnold of Mount Vernon, Missouri. His wife Paige Arnold and himself are expecting their first baby in April. He is the director of sales at United Animal Health. For those of you sitting ringside, please join me in welcoming Mr. Marcus Arnold and Chan Phillips. And in ring one, we are excited to welcome you our judge today, Mr. Tyler Cates of Indiana, where he lives with his wife, Courtney, and daughter, Piper, father, Brian, and mother, Aggie. He is an Angus and Shorthorn breeder, and he has been fortunate enough to judge at every major show, including the first two Cattlemen Congress. For those of you sitting ringside, please join me in welcoming our judge in ring one, Mr. Tyler Cates. Well, good morning. It's certainly a pleasure to be here uh, to evaluate your Simital show and your full blood show starting off this morning. I think a very nice pair of heifers that I think are close and have some uh, advantages that go either way. I think both heifers are sound in terms of their structure. I think that's probably a wash within the two. And there are some advantages that go each way. I thought today the young man's heifer we're going to go ahead and start with from the ground up and the rear forward is just a bit more of her. I think she is just a little bigger footed and stouter boned. She has more three-dimensional volume working down her top and out over her hip. She's got more depth and spring of rib to her, a heifer that's probably not as attractive as the heifer in second at the crest of her neck and down through her throat, a heifer that's maybe a, a little looser in her spine, a little leveler hip than the heifer in second. I like the heifer in second as she is more attractive. She's, uh, her neck ties a little higher out of the top side of her shoulder, a heifer that is a little cleaner up through her front end, just giving up a little substance and power over the heifer that starts with today. Well, congratulations over in ring one. We have the results of our first class of full blood Simmentals. First place went to back number 61086, exhibited by Logan Smith. And second place to back number 61087, exhi exhibited by Natalie Brunk.
here in your full blood show, a single entry, a nice senior heifer calf, one that when you get at the side of her, you really appreciate how strong she is down her top and level out over her hip. Heifer that's got some body and some rib shape to her. She's got some width at her pins and some width up front. Heifer that travels pretty nice. She gets every once in a while just a little rigid in her pasterns, but I think some of that's due to the ground's pretty soft out here. I'd probably like to lean this heifer up just a tick, trim her up in her chest. I think this young man's probably, if he hasn't bred her yet, uh, going to do that pretty soon. And it's helpful to have him lean, and he probably wants to show her next year. And I think she'll be at her best advantage if we trim her up just a little bit. But there's a lot of good, and there's a lot of good in the cattle that you can, you can actually get some condition on. Nice female. Well, congratulations over here in ring one. We have the result of class two. First place. <clears throat> First place went to back number 61089, exhibited by Logan Smith. And over here in ring two, we have the results of your first class. Class one, full blood Maine on Jew spring heifer calves. First place went to back number 9231, ECC Yesino 163 J. And second place went to 9230, ECC Missy 166 J. As we get out here for your champion full blood female, uh, we just had three entries this morning, but I think three tremendous animals. I think, you know, for the structural integrity that uh, these cattle have, um, I've been very impressed with to start off the day. I think all three of them have merit and you could go different ways out here. Uh, the heifer that wins the first class, I really like her combination of substance and volume and broodiness. She puts it into a nicely balanced package, a uh, fairly sound structure when you get her out on the move. The heifer behind her, similar to the heifer in front of her, maybe just doesn't have the balance from her chest floor back to her flank, but a lot of substance to that female, an easy fleshing female that at the same time we maybe like to start watching in terms of her condition, but I think another just broody sound functional female. And then I think one that's got a lot of future to her because she's so eye appealing uh, is the second place heifer out of her first class. Really attractive up through her front one third, really long bodied from the point of her shoulder back to her pin. She's probably the nicest fronted heifer out here. Today she's just probably given up a little too much in terms of just body and rear rib and substance. So we're going to go ahead and use the heifer out of our first class for your champion and the fall heifer for your reserve. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Well, congratulations. Back over here in ring one, we have the results of your full-blood Semental Heifer Show. Champion will go to back number 61086, exhibited by Logan Smith. And reserve champion in that division will go to back number 61089, also exhibited by Logan Smith. You're now going to get started with your Simbra Show. We'll be getting started with class three, Simbra Heifers, born May 20 of 22. Back over here in your full blood main on Jew show, we have the results of class two. First place went to back number 9233, ECC Anya 112J, exhibited by Adelaide Ebersol. And second place went to back number 9234, ECC 109J, exhibited by Wyatt Ebersol. We'll now look for class three, full blood main on Jew senior heifer calves.
Well, congratulations in class three, full blood main on Jew senior heifer calves. First place will go to back number 9237. TLLC Sophia 0H10ET, exhibited by Tyler Loudon of Creston, Iowa. And second place went to back number 9236. TLCC Serenity 0H11ET, also exhibited by Tyler Loudon. We'll now look for class four, full blood main on juice spring yearling heifers, born March 1st to March 31st, 2020. Well, congratulations over here in ring two. Your champion, Full Blood Maid Anjou, comes out of class three. Back number 9237, TLCC Sophia, 0H10ET, exhibited by Tyler Loudon.
And your reserve champion, open full blood main on Jew female, is going to go to back number 9233 ECC, Anya 1112 J, exhibited by Adelita Albersall. We will now get started with your open Maine Anjou female show. We'll be looking for class five Maine Anjou spring heifer calves born June 1st, 2021. Really nice class to start off the Simbras, but there's decisions to make within this class. The heifer that I like the best and has the most good, uh, the most fault free is the heifer I'm going to go ahead and start with. I like the, the size of the heifers that follow her better in terms of class. Uh, I like the fact they're a little bit more moderate, maybe not quite as advanced as, the, as this heifer is, but when you break them down, she's just the best in terms of her structural design. She's the most set back at her knees. She's the most correctly angled off of her hind leg and down to the biggest foot. A heifer that when you get her on the stop, she balances very nicely and is attractive. She has good body shape. She's good in her top line. I think she's just the best made female that has structure advantages over the heifer in second, as well as even though she's a bigger heifer, she also is more opened up underneath, has more width to chest, and has more, more shape to her. I like the heifer in second. I like her when she's stopped. She's very attractive. She's flat about her shoulder, a nicely presented female. A heifer that when you analyze her, compare to the heifer that comes out next, the young man's black heifer, just more style and eye appeal up through her front one third. She's a little better in behind her shoulders, a little more collected out of her hind leg. The heifer in second, I would like to loosen up just a little bit in her knee and right down at the ground. The young man, I think it's another close placing. There's advantages that go both ways in terms of the black heifer that we have in third and the red heifer we have coming out next. I thought the black heifer is probably a little more attractive up through her front one third. When you get her out on the move, she probably holds herself together just a bit nicer. I do like the heifer in, in fourth from the ground up. I think she's really big footed and has a lot of bone. She has a lot of substance. Heifer, you get her out here. She gets a little PC. Heifer, we just like to make a bit more attractive up through her front one third, but I think a really nice class. Well, congratulations over here in your Simba, Simbra ring. We have the results of class three Simbra heifers born May 2022. First place went to back number 61044, Carter Peoples of Rockwall, Texas. Second place will go to back number 61042, Jacob Sansom of Brenham, Texas. Third place goes to back number 60634, Gantz Allen of Blossom, Texas. And fourth place went to back number 61043, Trenton Stewart of Washington, Texas. And ring one will now see class four Simbra heifers born March to April 2021.
in this uh, first class of high mains. Uh, got four really nice females out here to represent this class. And, uh, Really a nice class here in your Simbra show that's very deep in terms of quality all the way through. But, you know, as the cattle came in, it was kind of these three. I contemplated keeping the heifers in first and third together because they're more moderate. Uh, they're a little more similar in terms of their shape and design. But I think at the end, in terms of quality, in terms of eye appeal, I think the two black heifers fit better together. Of the two black heifers, I think when you get them on the side, I think the heifer we start with is just a bit more attractive. Her neck ties higher out of the top side of her shoulder. She's a little cleaner up front and through her chest. I like her moderation probably a tick better than the heifer in second. I think body is probably a wash. I do think there's more depth from the top of her skeleton to the bottom on the young man's heifer, but I think this heifer, her underlying balance is very nice. I think it's very appropriate for her age. I think both heifers are, are two of the sounder heifers in class. There's places you would modify each one of them. I'd probably, I really like the front end structure of that heifer when she goes away from you. She gets a little uncoordinated, but so does the heifer in second. She's a little coarser about her hock. I think that heifer's got a lot, of, a lot of length and depth to her. I'd like to make her balance up a little nicer for her to get over the heifer in second. And I like the moderation of the heifer in and it wins the class. Like I said, this heifer in third, I love her with the chest. I like her body. I like her doability. I like her structure. When you compare to the heifers in front of her, she's not as attractive and eye-appealing when you get her out on the move. She wants to drop her pins a little bit and doesn't maintain as level a hip as when you get her on the move or at the stand. Young lady heifer, I thought, came out next when you compared to the one right behind her. She gives up some bone and some foot size, but a heifer, I think when you get her on the stop, she's leveler out of her hips. She's stronger right in behind her shoulders and a little more attractive up front. We just want to stouten her up from the ground up. The young man's heifer, like I said, really heavy bone and big footed. She's moderate, but I think a heifer, when you get her out on the travel, she's the soundest heifer that we have of the remaining class. Young lady's got a big growthy heifer that comes next that's got a lot of muscle down her top and out of her hip. Want to soften her up in terms of her body and flank, make her a little freer at the ground. That's an advantage I give to the young man's heifer that comes out next is she's a little freer at the ground, a heifer that isn't quite as attractive as the one in front of her. And the two heifers we conclude the class with, cattle I'd like to, uh, this heifer I'd like to link, lengthen her out in terms of her stride, uh, level her up in terms of her hip. And the young man's heifer, just a little green, uh, got a little swelling on her hock today. But a nice class here to start. Well, congratulations. Back over here in ring two, we have the results of class five main on Jews spring heifer calves. First place went to back number 9002. Bow 110JET exhibited by Kyla Rhodes of Ada, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 9006. WSCC Yoho 03JET exhibited by Dexter Small. Third place went to back number 9003, exhibited by Hollis Driscoll of Stillwater, Oklahoma. And fourth place went to back number 9004, exhibited by Eden Christian of Purcell, Oklahoma. Now currently in ring two, we have class six, Maine on Juice Spring Haver Calves, born May to May 31st, 2021. 
Back over here in your Simbra ring, we have the result of class four, Simbra heifers born March to April. First place went to back number 61050, exhibited by Haley Bryan of Overton, Texas. Second place went to back number 361047, exhibited by Jacob Merritt of Henderson, Texas. Third place went to back number 61057, Leah Schmidt. Fourth place went to back number 61048, exhibited by Avery Rendon. Fifth place went to back number 61055, Peyton Moore. Sixth place, back number 61054. Seventh place, back number 61058. Eighth place, number 61059. And ninth place was back number 61049. Currently in ring one, we have class five, Simra Heifers, born January to February 2021. Well, congratulations in your main on Jew ring. We have the results of class six. First place went to back number 9009, BMA Fancy Like 8872J, exhibited by Jacob Keeney. Second place went to back number 9007, KMEM It's On 886J, exhibited by Laramie Blakely. Third place went to back number 9041, RIM Fast Dory 01J, exhibited by Madison Rutledge. Fourth place, back number 9015, exhibited by Kelsey Wall. And fifth place, exhibited by Mason Bergthold. We'll now look for class seven, made on Jew spring heifer calves, born April 1st to April 30th, 2021. Another good class, and with each and every class, just brings different sizes and shapes, and there's different priorities uh, within when you have to line some of these cattle up. The top three heifers here, I thought, uh, were the females were the most complete. And then I thought the one that starts the class combines what I like about the heifers in second and third. I think she has the balance and the eye appeal of the heifer we have in second. But yet she has some of the substance and dimension of the heifer we have in third. When you get the cattle out on the move, I think she's as sound as any. She's not as heavy boned and big footed as the heifer that we have in second. But she's got a lot more depth and softness through her forerib and through her center rib and back through her flank. Every when you get her on the profile is very attractive. She's long out through her front end. She, for a female that is that long from the point of her shoulder back to her pins, she maintains a lot of strength and stability down her top. I think just a nice complete heifer that we start off the class with. 
Young Lady Zephyr in second is one I, I see a great deal of potential in. I love her up through her front one third and the way her neck ties out of her shoulder. I love the flatness she has to her shoulder. I love the slope that she has to her shoulder. Today, we'd just like to drop her down in terms, of her, in terms of her center rib and back to her flank. Maybe like to pull her up in her pins just a little bit when you get her on the move, but a very nice female. The heifer we have in third has more substance. She has more body. She has more archer curvature to her rib than the heifer right in front of her. Where I want to change this heifer is when you get her out on the travel. I'd like to free her up out of her hock. I'd like to pick her up in terms of her pins a little bit, but I appreciate that heifer for her substance over the heifer we have that comes out next. A muscular heifer that comes out next and one that's got some attractiveness up front. She just gets a little hard all the way through. You'd like to see her just a bit more collected in terms of her joint work, but I think there's just enough substance advantage over the young man's red heifer that we conclude the class with. That heifer probably does handle her hind legs a bit freer. Just want to give her a little bit more to her all the way through. Well, congratulations. Back over here in your Simbra ring, we have the results of Class 5. First place went to back number 60727, Riley Whitaker of Ranger, Texas. Second place, back number 61061, Michaela Wolverington. Third place went to back number 61060, Paisley Lightfoot. Fourth place, back number 61064, Joshua Andersack. And fifth place will go to back number 61062. We'll now bring in those first and seconds, and we'll be selecting a champion reserve junior heifer calf over here in your Simbra ring. As we get out here for your first division, really a lot of quality. It did come to us in some different shapes and sizes, which is to be expected at this time of their skeletal maturity. Uh, but I think as we analyzed the cattle, we got the ones that were the most complete and the better structured cattle that had some balance. Uh, cattle that when you, you get them out here, I think they're good in terms of the amount of volume they have. Uh, just a really nice set. The heifer out of our first class, I like her in terms of her structure. She's big footed and got some bone. Got a lot of substance to her. She's pretty nicely balanced when you get her at the stand. We talked in class where she's probably a little advanced in terms of her growth today, uh, but I think just has a lot of good and a lot of quality to her. Uh, heifer that really puts some nice things together. The heifer out of our second class, uh, I think does the same thing. I think she's very attractive. I think she's well balanced. I think she's nice structured. She's not as far along for her age as that heifer in second, but that's something I appreciate about this heifer. I think she's right where she needs to be in terms of her age and, and a female that has plenty of volume to her. She's attractive and I think a female that when you get her out on the move, she's as balanced on the move as she is at the stand. The heifer out of our third class was the female that I thought put the most good things together. She's very attractive in her, in her side profile. Heifer is really long spined and very level in her design. You get her back out or she maybe doesn't have the substance and the dimension and the stoutness of the two in front of her, but I think a nice female that won that class. Well, let's give these exhibitors a nice round of applause and I'll go select your champion and reserve in this division. Well, congratulations, your champion junior heifer calf will go to back number 61050, coming out of class four, Haley Bryan of Overton, Texas.
And congratulations, your reserve champion in that division. We'll go to back number 61044, Carter Peoples of Rockwall, Texas, with Hagen Dumbo 204J. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We will now go into your next division here in your Simbra show. We'll look for class six, Simbra heifers born November to December 2020. Reserve, it's over here. Two really nice females here. We've got a December uh, and a November heifer, and I think they're close, and I think there's advantages that go either way. But I'm going to go ahead and use the female that I think's a little freer moving. She's a little bit more moderate. She's a little bigger bodied. And when you get her out, she's a little leveler out over her hip when you set them into motion. The heifer in seconds definitely longer and has more muscle shape and more growth to her. When you compare her to the heifer in seconds, she's not quite as level in her hip. She doesn't have quite, quite the body shape to her, but two really nice females for these two young people. Well, congratulations in class six. Over here in ring one, we have the results of Simbra Heifers born November to December. First place went to back number 60740. Kelly Whitaker of Ranger, Texas with Smith RFI Sugar Girl. And second place went to back number 61068, exhibited by Peyton Moore of Franklin, Texas. We'll now bring in Class 7, Simbra Heifers, born October of 2020.
three really nice senior heifer calves here in your Simbra ring. This heifer that wins this class is very unique from an eye appeal and balance and femininity standpoint. Really attractive up through her front one third, her neck ties high. She's really skinny at the top and point of her shoulder, at the top of her neck. She's very clean at her throat and down through her chest. A heifer that still has some shape and dimension down her top. She's long and smooth all the way through. A heifer that moves as good as any that we have within this class. A nice place to start. The heifer in seconds, the most like her in terms of an attractiveness standpoint. Uh, when you compare her to the heifer that we have in third, she's nicer at the crest of her neck and cleaner down through her front end. She's leveler in her top and leveler out over her hip. She isn't probably as deep bodied as that heifer that we have in third, but I think her advantages in balance and quality up through her front end and from the side view profile is enough for her to go second. I appreciate the young man's heifer in second. She's set back at her knee. She's got a lot of substance to her. Going to make a nice female for the young man. Just isn't quite as attractive and collected off of her hip and hind leg as you get her out on the travel.
Over on the other side of the ring in our senior heifer calf division, I think two really nice females. I think four nice females that the young people are doing a nice job and working hard with. But I think the quality uh, is really exceptional in these two. They're a little different, but where they're similar is they're the two nice, balanced, level-made female that were the soundest on the move. I like the heifer that wins our first division. She's a moderate framed heifer that's really strong down her top. She has some width at chest. She's wide set at her pin. She has some bone and some foot size. She's not got quite the it factor as the heifer right, in, right behind her, but I think a really, really nice one. The heifer out of our second division, you know, when you get out here, she's so neat up through her front end and so, so skinny necked and attractive. You know, you wonder if the heifer has enough to her for her size, but you get in behind her, she's got enough width and dimension. You get off to the side of her, when that heifer is that long, she still has good body shape. She probably even has more swoop to the center of her belly than the heifer we have right in front of her. I think both heifers are sound enough, but today we're going to go with the heifer out of our second division. I think she's got enough uniqueness. We're going to go ahead and use that one and follow up with the young lady's heifer out of our first class. Congratulations. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Well, congratulations over here in ring one. We have the results of your senior heifer calf division. Champion went to back number 61070, Avery Rendon of Lorena, Texas, with TSC, hallelujah, and reserve champion in that division. We'll go to back number 60740, exhibited by Keeley Whitaker of Ranger, Texas. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We'll now bring in class eight. Simbra Heifers born July to August of 2020. Back over here in the main Anjou ring, we have the results of class seven. First place went to back number 9031, WSCC Charade 23J, exhibited by Hannah Muir of Humboldt, Iowa. Second place went to back number 9017, CRLL Miss Zippy 55JET, exhibited by Drew McCullough of Allerton, Iowa. Third place went to back number 9021, TJSC Lucky Lady 133JET, exhibited by Raymond Benneker of Hamlin, Ohio. Fourth place, we'll go to back number 9023, exhibited by BBR Alley 262JET, Tyler Miller of Armington, Illinois. Fifth place, went to back number 9020, exhibited by Paisley Amos. Sixth place, went to back number 9029, exhibited by Madison Griffin. Seventh place, exhibited by Grace Aust. Eighth place in that class, exhibited by Catherine Cross. Ninth place, we'll go to back number 9026, exhibited by Caber Johnson. Tenth place, exhibited by Ebersol Cattle Company. And eleventh in that class, exhibited by Olivia Bella. Now currently in ring two is class eight, made on juice spring heifer calves, born March 1st to March 31st of 2021.
as we get our summer borns in here, I always think that the, the young summer borns are, you see a lot of difference in shapes and sizes in, in them as much as anything. And I do think that the heifer we're going to use is more moderate uh, than some of the heifers that we've used. But I think when you analyze the cattle and analyze them for what's important, I think she's the most balanced, soundest, structured heifer within the class. This is the most correctly angled out of her shoulder. She works off the most functional hip and hind leg. She's really opened up from her chest floor all the way back through. I have her that when you get them on this view from the side, she is the most balanced and symmetrical in terms of her side view profile. I think a heifer that's got enough size and performance, that's what we're going to start off with today. I think the heifer that's the most like her in terms of balance and substance is the young lady's heifer in second. She does have advantages in terms of size and weight per day of age, and she's like the heifer in, ter in first in terms of her width and dimension down her top and out of her hip. In terms of female, you'd like to change up through her front one third. A heifer, you'd like she gets a little deeper in her chest in relationship to the center of her body and back through her flank. She doesn't travel kind of quite as coordinated as the heifer we start with off of her hip and hind leg. I think an advantage that goes to the heifer in third is she is just a little more coordinated off her hind leg than the one in second. When you get on top of this heifer and behind her, she's probably the flattest in terms of her top and from behind. Heifer, when you get them out on the move, she's the least balanced. She's a little lower headed and has a little bit more, uh, not as attractive up through her front one third. But I think three nice heifers, they're all three different. I think the heifer that has the most good in terms of cow productivity is the heifer we're going to go ahead and start the class with. Well, congratulations in class eight over here in ring one. First place went to back number 60771. Cole Richer of Gonzales, Texas with LMC JSSC and G053H. Second place went to back number 61073 exhibited by Madison Rutledge of Covington, Texas. And third place went to back number 61072 Stockton Lightfoot of Needville, Texas. We'll now bring in Class 9, Simbra Heifers, born May and June of 2020.
Really a nice class of uh, May, June heifers here. The young man's heifer in thirds are very nice female. He just run, ran into two very high quality individuals. He's doing an excellent job with this heifer. But when you compare his heifer to the top two, uh, there's just not quite the dimension and substance and quality. The top two are very nice. There are some differences in the two. But I think when you analyze the two, the differences to me, when you analyze them on the move, the heifer we start with has a little more slope out through her shoulder. Her biggest advantage is in terms of her depth of center. Her balance from the side view profile, her chest in relationship to her center rib and her rear flank, she just balances so much better. She's softer and has more swoop through her center body. She's also more dimensional when you get up on top of them. The advantage is the heifer we have in second is I think she strides out a little longer off of her hind leg than the heifer we start off the class with. She's a little longer and more feminine up through her front end. You take a little chest out of this heifer, you drop her down in her flank, I can probably switch this pair pretty easy. I think both very good females. Today I'm going to give advantage to the heifer that's got more body, has a little more slope to her shoulder, and balances better on the side. Two nice females. Young man, like we said, does an excellent job with this heifer, just not quite as much dimension to her. Let's give those exhibitors a nice round of applause. Well, congratulations over here in ring one. The results of class nine, first place went to back number 61075. Bailey Buzzard of Victoria, Texas. Second place went to back number 61074, Hallie Hackett. And third place will go to back number 6176, Stockton Lightfoot. Now bring in your first and seconds and select a champion reserve intermediate heifer over here in your Simbra ring. Back over in the main Anju ring, the result of class eight. First place went to back number 9044, BKMT Just a Dream. 102 JET exhibited by Chancey Clark of Muldrow, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 9043, Bo Miss 108 JET exhibited by Caitlin Skiles. Third place went to back number 9046, BKMT Joy Gal 111 JET exhibited by Brassos Heck. Fourth place in that class went to back number 9034, exhibited by Madison McCullough. Fifth place went to back number 9039, exhibited by Griswold Cattle at LLC. Sixth place went to back number 9049, exhibited by Devin Morton. Seventh place exhibited by Taylor Jeffrey. Eighth place in that class exhibited by Victoria Merritt, Virginia Merritt, my apologies. And ninth place went to back number 9041, exhibited by Brooks Collier. Now in ring two, we are selecting your Division I Champion Reserve Spring Heifer Cavs. As we get back out here for your intermediate division, I really feel like the, the competition level in this division was as, as strong all the way through top to bottom. Uh, the heifer out of our first class was not the biggest framed and the longest bodied one in her class, but she was the best balanced and she was the best structured. And she was the one I would take home for a cow. I think a female that gives up a little bit to the two heifers out of the last class in terms of size and performance. But I think this young man's gonna be very proud of that one as he turns her out and makes a cow out of her. The pair out of that last class, very high quality females. There were some subtle differences, but we thought that the heifer that won this class just has more body and substance. And when you get them on the profile, she balances better in her underline from her forehead back to her flank. I liked the set to her knee and the angle to her shoulder a bit better. The heifer in second was a little neater necked. A heifer that had a really nice hind leg set to her a little longer. Let's give these exhibitors a really nice round of applause. We're going to go ahead and use the two heifers out of our last class for your division and reserve. Congratulations. Well, congratulations like over here in the Simbra ring. Your champion intermediate like heifer goes to back number 6175, really Bailey like Buzzard that. of Victoria, Texas. And reserve champion will go to back number 61074, Haley Hackett. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We'll now look to start with class 10, Simbra heifers born March to April of 2020.
Really a nice class here. Really a nice class over here. And I think there's some advantages and differences. But as you get these two heifers here that I think are uh, the two that are big volumed in terms of their rib, uh, two females that balance really nice. I'm going to go with the female that's sounder in terms of her structure, has a more functional hip and hind leg, and the heifer that I really appreciate where she is in terms of her gestation, a heifer that um, is bred upright and have some utter development. Uh, when you get this heifer out, she's not as attractive in terms of her throat as the two heifers that follow her, but she probably is as nice in terms of her chest. She's the most balanced in terms of her underline from her forerib back to her flank, and I like this heifer the best when you get her out on the travel. The heifer, the red heifer, we, when I, she first came in was the one I was drawn to. She's attractive up through her neck, a heifer that has a lot of substance down her top and out over her hip. She's got some bone and some foot size. When you get her on the move, she just doesn't flex good enough from her hock down. 
uh, for her to get over the heifer that wins the class. The heifer in third is probably more similar to the type of the heifer in second. Both cattle a little bit more moderate. I like the hind leg movement of this heifer better than the red heifer, but she doesn't have near the substance and dimension to her down her top, through her center body and back through her flank, but I do like her structure, and this young man's one of the best showmen we've seen thus far today. Nice job. The young lady's heifer that comes out next is the biggest and longest heifer. A heifer that you get around the travel, she's probably sound enough. We'd probably hurt, like for her to show us just maybe a little more signs, uh, being a little farther along in calf. She doesn't balance up quite as nicely when you get her on the side, but she sure does a nice job with this heifer. You can tell she cares about this heifer a lot. Well, congratulations. Back over here in ring two, we have the results of your senior heifer calf division. Champion went to back number 9044, BKMT, Just a Dream, 102 JET, exhibited by Chancey Clark. And reserve in that division went to back number 9002, exhibited by Kaya Rhodes. Now in ring two, we have class nine, main and juice spring heifer calves, born February 1st to February 28th. Back over in your Simbra ring, we have the results of class 10 and your champion junior heifer who go to back number 61081, Paisley Lightfoot of Needville, Texas. Second place in reserve in that division went to Hallie Hackett. Third place in that class will go to Colt Richer and fourth place will go to Emily Birch. We will now be bringing in your champion reserve division winners to select a grand and reserve grand champion Simbra heifer.
as we get out here for your uh, champion Simbra, uh, I've been really, really impressed uh, with the quality. You know, starting off in our calves, there was a lot of differences in size and shape and and in terms of scale to maturity and where the cattle are. And I understand that they're raised in different parts of the country and they're going to grow better in different parts of the country. But I think as we get these cattle back out here, very, very pleased. The heifer that wins the first division, just very complete, uh, very sound, productive. You, you can picture this heifer as a yearling, and you're, I think you're going to be very pleased. You can picture her as a cow. I think you're going to be very pleased. You know, I, I'm not afraid to use a calf, but I always try to use a big one if I can, if I can find one I like. But this heifer is certainly in contention because of her structure, her balance, and I think a female has just got a bright future. The heifer wins our fall division is really an outlier, I think, in terms of, you know, her look and her presentation from the side. She's so long-fronted and skinny-necked. Heifer that still, when you get her out here, she has a pretty functional hip and hind leg. She has enough body uh, for her frame size. She's probably not gotten near as much belly shape as, as a couple of the other heifers out here. And she maybe gets just a little more upright and straight in her shoulder and knee. But I think a female that just is very unique and has a lot of neat things going for her. The young man's heifer out of her May division, is, is she too, I think, is very unique. But she's unique from a different standpoint than, than our fall heifer. I love this heifer in terms of her foot size and her bone work. Just tremendously big volumed and she's wide and chested and she's true all the way through. She's got great depth and it, but it's uniform and she's clean in her chest. She's deep in her flank. A heifer when you get out here, she's not just freaky fronted, but she's attractive and feminine and looks like a cow and her neck ties high out of her shoulder. I think one as you project her and take her home and turn her out, I think you're really gonna like her down the road. And then in the female that won her last division, why we used her. There was a couple of heifers that probably were a little stouter and had a little more bone, but I like this heifer in terms of her structure within that class. I like the fact that she was further along in terms of her gestation and had more body and had some utter development. And when you get around the travel, she's very sound. When you analyze compared to a couple of the other ones out here, she doesn't maybe just have quite the pizzazz. A great set of reserves, and there's a couple of them that are definitely in contention. Uh, I'll wait and do a lot of comments to the very end, but I just want to say it's been an honor and a privilege for me to judge the first two breeds of the day. Let's give these young people and the breeders of these cattle a huge round of applause, and I'll go out and pick your champion and reserve. Well, congratulations over here in ring one. Your grand champion, Simbra Heifer. Goes to back number 61075, Bailey Buzzard of Victoria, Texas with Miss Cricket. Congratulations to Bailey and reserve grand champion, Simbra Female. Went to back number 61050, Haley Br Bryan of Overton, Texas with Hagen, Dakota 50J. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Now in ring one, we'll get started with your percentage Simmental Junior Show. Back over in ring two, we do have the results of class nine. This will also be division two, Spring Heifer Calves. Champion went to back number 9054, GCC Fenway, Ford 
24 JET exhibited by Griswold Cattle Company, LLC of Stillwater, Oklahoma, and reserve champion went to back number 9061. DUP Jelly Yum 109 JET exhibited by Case Connolly of Sulphur, Oklahoma. We'll now bring in Class 10 May Nanju Winter Heifer Calves born November 1st to December 31st, 2020. Well, congratulations in class 10. First place went to back number 9065. LJR and Miss Baina 1048 exhibited by Hollis Driscoll of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Now in the ring two, we'll look for class 11 May Nanju Fall Heifer Calves born September 1st to October 31st, 2020.
Well, congratulations in class 11, Mainanju Fall Heifer Cavs. First place went to back number 9071, BKJG Honey Run 005H, exhibited by Avery Belcher of Blakesburg, Iowa. Second place in that class went to back number 9073, exhibited by Abby Burkham with BKJR Happy Run 0007HET. And third place in that class went to back number 9076, exhibited by Neely Davis of Wheeler, Texas. And fourth place went to back number 9074, exhibited by Jalen Wolfinger. We'll now bring in your first and seconds. We'll be selecting a champion reserve fall heifer calf. Well, congratulations, your champion fall heifer calf. We'll go to back number 9071, BKJG Honey Run 0005, H exhibited by Avery Belcher. And reserve in that division goes to back number 9073, BKJG Happy Run 0007, HET exhibited by Abby Burkham. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We'll now bring in class 12 over here in your main Anju ring. This will be main Anju late summer yearling heifers born July 1st through August 31st, 2020.
Well, congratulations in class 12, first place. We'll go to back number 9077, CRSW Exactly Matters, 014H, exhibited by Kobley Lewis. We'll now bring in class 13, Maine and Jew Early Summer Yearling Heifers, born May 1st to June 30th of 2020. Well, currently in ring one, we are going to get started with your percentage Simmental Junior Show here at the Cattlemen's Congress. Again, our judge today over in ring one, Mr. Tyler Cates.
Well, congratulations over here in class 13. First place goes to back number 9081, CRLL Miss Holly 44HET, exhibited by Elena Rosenboom. Second place in that class, back number 9078, KMEM Sammy 304H, exhibited by Olivia Ann Bella. Third place, back number 9399, WSCC Winnie 119HET, exhibited by Laney Osborne. And fourth place in that class, back number 9079, exhibited by Lillian Christian. We'll now bring in your first and seconds, and we'll be selecting a champion reserve out of Division Four. Well, congratulations, your champion in Division 4 will go to back number 9081, CRLL Miss Holly, 44HET, exhibited by Elena Rosenboom. And reserve champions going to go to back number 9078, exhibited by Olivia and Bella. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We'll now bring in class 14 over here in your main Anju ring. These will be late spring yearling heifers, born April 1st to April 30th of 2021. What a great way to start off with here in uh, the Half-Blood Show. I think you've got a lot of quality up here. 
uh, towards the top end. And I think that you, you can do different things. But when this effort hit the ring, I think I never really wavered from her as I like her the best in terms of her structural design off of both ends. I don't think she's the freakiest in any certain area, but I find her the most pleasing in terms of her skeletal design. I love her, the fact that she's youthful in terms of her size and design. I love the rib shape she has. When the young man gets her on the side, she's balanced. I think when you compare her to the heifer in second, she travels off of a freer hip and hind leg. She's a little longer hip. She has a little bit more set to her hind leg. As well, she has a notch more set to her front knee. The heifer on second, I think, is as good balanced as any heifer in the class. Uh, really highly presented heifer that's really neat up front. She's probably the shapeliest of the top three. A female, when you get her out on the travel, she could take just a tick longer stride off of her back end. And that's an advantage I probably give to the heifer in third as she flexes just a little bit uh, longer and freer off of her back leg and sits down just a lo little softer in terms of her rear pastern. This heifer also has an advantage probably in terms of belly depth over the heifer right in front of her. Where I want to change this heifer is out of her front end structure a little bit. She gets a notch straighter in her shoulder, and when she comes at you, she wants to get a little outside of herself. I realize that she was wanting to fight her halter a little bit, uh, but when you analyze the heifer, she comes out just a little lower, and the way she's set of her neck on top of her shoulders, and a lot of times that'll go with um, the angle to their shoulder and how they handle the front ends, but I like that heifer a lot. Some cool parts in the heifer we have in third, a huge back leg and a nice soft back leg. A nice front end. She's really long, and I like the strength and power she has down her top. Today, she's a little more upright in her shoulder and needs a little more softness to her center body cavity compete with those three, but really a lot of nice parts and pieces there. The two heifers we have coming out next have some contrasting differences, too. I prefer the body shape, the depth of body of this heifer over the heifer that comes out next. I would like to see this heifer have more angle up through her shoulder. She gets a little straight fronted. She's not as muscular and stylish as that heifer we have right behind her. The heifer that comes out next has some neat parts. She's good looking and stout, just needs more body and needs freed up a bit. The young man's heifer has that. She has more body than the one in front of her, but she gets a little plainer up front. A heifer that gets a little higher in her tail head and a little weaker in her loin. And then the young lady's heifer that comes out next just needs a little more substance and time to compete with those in front of her. Well, congratulations over here in ring one and a nice way to start out our percentage Simmental show. First place goes to back number 60843, Riker Schaffner of Fayetteville, Arkansas. Second place goes to back number 60850, Claire McIntyre of Bolivia, Missouri with Wallace Travel Gale, 191J. Third place in that class, back number 60844, Laramie Sasser. Fourth place went to back number 60848, Ryan Harper. Fifth place went to back number 60853, Kendra Gomez. Sixth place exhibited by Mason Metzler. Seventh place exhibited by Bentley Hill. And eighth place in that class exhibited by Dalen Williams. Now currently in ring one, we'll bring in class 12 percentage Simmental heifers born April of 2021.
Well, congratulations back over in ring two results of class 14, main on Jew late spring yearling heifers. First place went to back number 9556. CMCC Hoochie Girl 085 HET exhibited by Madison Shout of Yukon, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 9090 exhibited by Gentry Remy of Owasso, Oklahoma. Third place went to back number 9088 exhibited by Emily Thorson. And fourth place exhibited by Sarah Rimple. We'll now look for class 15 May Nanju early spring yearling heifers born March 1st to March 31st, 2020. Well, congratulations over here in your main on Jew ring. Results of class 15. First place went to back number 9092. GOF Miss Princess 210H exhibited by Clint Main of Seymour, Indiana. And second place went to back number 9097. Why Not So Sweet Holly 50HET exhibited by Cecilia Mercina. We'll now bring in class 16, May Nanju Jr. Yearling Heifers, born January to February 29th of 2020.
really a good class here, and I think good quality all the way through. I think when you get these top four up here, the two that I think that are most alike and fit together the best are these two young lady heifers. I really think they're very, very similar in terms of where they are in terms of their skeletal maturity, in terms of their body shape and power, and both have really good hind legs on them. Here's the two differences. One, the heifer we're gonna go ahead and start with is just neater up through her front end. She's a little fresher at the top set of her neck and down through her chest. A heifer that when you analyze her and compare her to the heifer in second, I think the heifer in second moves just a notch better in her knee than the heifer we start off with. But I think the heifer in, in first has all the volume and all the power the heifer in second does. I think the heifers have both moved really good off their hind leg. And I'm going to go ahead today and say the differences in terms of neck and extension. I think this heifer is definitely good structured out of her front end. But it is an advantage that we give to the heifer in second. She set back just a little bit at her knee more than the heifer we start with. I really like the calliness and broodiness of this heifer in second, the swoop to her belly. I think a nice silhouette. If we could just freshen her up just a little bit in terms of the top set in her neck and her throat, I think maybe she can get over that heifer right in front of her. Really a nice female. A unique female comes out next. You really like her in terms of her neck. You like her in terms of her huge, huge belly. Heifer that's pretty sound and she's flat in part of her joints. Heifer I'd like to just see a little bit more of in terms of you analyze her through her chest and the width that she has right behind her shoulders and out over her, hint, out over her hip. I think this heifer does give you a great silhouette, a big swoopy belly and a soft pastern, but I'd like to see just a little more dimension in her when you compare to those two in front of her. The heifer that comes out next has a lot of wow factor to her. She's wild necked, she's got a lot of bone and foot size. Where I want to change her is I want to soften her up in terms of her center body cavity and give her a little more flex when we set her into motion. Young lady heifer we have comes out next does have that. She has more body shape and arch and curvature to her rib, but she doesn't have that attractiveness and wow factor from the side, not quite as soft a hind leg. Young lady heifer we come out next, another big bone, big footed heifer. Heifer that just gets a little straight out of her shoulder, gets a little more uncollected off of her back end. The heifer that comes out next is probably a little sounder off her back end than the one in front of her, but not quite the pizzazz and eye appeal and bone. The heifers we have concluding the class, really nice functional females, just need to have them just a little more eye appeal to compete with those cattle we have in front of them. Well, congratulations over here in your main on Jew ring. Results of class 16. First place went to back number 9099, exhibited by Turner Longacre of Kellyville, Oklahoma. We'll now be bringing in your first and second in selecting a champion reserve out of Division 5. Back over in the Simmental ring, we have the results of class 12. First place went to back number 60862, Cheyenne Bennett of Winchester, Indiana, with STCC PKF Miley 45J. Second place went to back number 60857, Sloan Curtin of Oxford, Iowa, with Weiss Miss Rudy 12J. Third place in that class went to back number 60889, Exhibited by Riley Williams of Tecumseh, Oklahoma. Fourth place went to back number 60866, Nolan Goring of Random Lake, Wisconsin. Fifth place went to back number 60871, exhibited by Samantha Roberts. Sixth place exhibited by Delaney Chester. Seventh, Addison Kennedy. Eighth place in that class exhibited by Riley Martin. Ninth place exhibited by Jacob Sansom. In 10th place, exhibited by Caden Graves. Now currently in ring two, or ring one, my apologies, is class 13, percentage Simmental heifers born April of 2021.
Congratulations in your Division 5 over here in the Maine on Jew Ring. Champion goes to back number 9092, exhibited by Clint Maine of Seymour, Indiana. And your reserve in that division will go to back number 9099, BBR Haley, 156HET, -E exhibited by Turner Longacre. Congratulations to those exhibitors. And at this time in ring two, we are going to bring in all of your division champion reserves. And our judges will be selecting his, their grand and reserve open main on Jew females. Another really nice class. A lot of differences up here within the top four, and you can do different things, but I think the two heifers that are the most complete are the two heifers we get up here on top. To me, it kind of comes down the same way it did within the last pair in the last class. Uh, I, I like the heifer in first. I think over the heifer in second, she's just more attractive and feminine up to her front end. Her neck ties higher out of her shoulder. She's a little cleaner up to her throat, and I think with that, she also has just a little more angle there and is a little more set back at her knee. From the side, I love this heifer in terms of her silhouette, her depth, and her levelness out over her hip. She's not as powerfully designed as the heifer in second, but I think her added advantage from the side and up to her front one third is enough for her to get over the red heifer we have in second. The red heifer we have in second, I really like. She has a really powerful design, and when you analyze her from the front and the rear, she's wide chest, and she's really opened up up high and at her pin set. She just has so much more body and substance to her than the heifer that we have in third. The heifer that we have in third, I really like in terms of her structural design. I think when you analyze this heifer in terms of her angles and her feet, I think when on the either side of her, I think she probably has the most correct angulation. Where I want to change this heifer is we just want to soften her up today. A heifer just needs a little more body. I think a heifer, as we project her down the line, you got that look and that structure. A heifer, if she gets older, she's going to relax in her spine and body down and be really nice. This heifer here, I, I like a lot of parts about. She maybe just doesn't put it all together for us today. I love her depth. I love the length that she has. I like the slope that she has to her shoulder. 
When you get her out on the travel, I'd like to change her a little bit in her hawk, and then when you get off to the side view, I'd like to balance her up in terms of her chest floor back to her flank just a bit, but a nice female that's got some good parts and pieces. This effort here, if we could free her up and lean her up, is one that gets up a couple places. I really like the volume and the, and the substance to this effort. She's a little further along than what we'd probably like him today, and I think that does hinder her, her balance and eye appeal and movement just a little bit. The young ladies effort we have coming out next, cool necked, big bodied, and stout. Heifer that just gets a little outside of herself off of both ends as we get her into motion. Heifer that comes out next, big boned and big footed, gets up in her top just a little bit, gets a little lower coming out of her shoulder. And the three efforts we have coming out next, really nice females, but probably the three I wanted to change the most in terms of their structural design. Well, congratulations. Over here in your seven tall ring, we have the results of class 13. First place went to back number 60875, Bryce Mowbray of Salem, Missouri, with Wallace Travel Gal 185J. Second place went to back number 60879, Case Conley of Sulphur, Oklahoma, with STAG Valerie 31J. Third place went to back number 61106, Colton Greenhorn of Waynesville, Ohio. Fourth place went to back number 60880, Kylie Callis of Minico, Oklahoma. Fifth place went to back number 60881, Glennie Glenny McCure of Kingman, Indiana, with J. Saul Sandy 1239J. Sixth place exhibited by back number 60883, Addie Zello of J. Oklahoma. Seventh place went to back number 60886, Emma Wankel. Eighth place in that class exhibited by Joseph Martinez. Ninth place, Piper Steely. And tenth place, Courtney Keaton.
Well, congratulations. Your grand champion, Open May Nanju Female, goes to back number 9062, GOF Miss Princess 210H, exhibited by Clinton Maine of Seymour, Indiana. And congratulations, your reserve grand champion goes to back number 9071 BKJG Honey Run 0005 H exhibited by Avery Belcher of Blakesburg, Iowa. Once again, congratulations to our main on Jew exhibitors. We will get started here in just a moment with your main on Jew bull show.
Really a nice class here. I think when you analyze these cattle up towards the top ends, there's just so many pleasing cattle within this class in terms of what we've been looking forward to today. Looking for today. I think when you analyze this pair, I think you know the top three are really different. Ended up, I think the heifer that we had in third probably doesn't handle her top line quite as nicely. They're none of them exactly perfect in terms of movement. But there's probably a couple more modifications uh, in terms of that heifer structure than these two. I think when it comes down to these two, when I think when you compare them and analyze them, I like the heifer we start with better out of her front end. I think she's nicer and fresher and more uh, youthful up through the top set of her neck and up through her front end. Really like the condition that this heifer comes to us in. From the side, you love her silhouette, really nicely balanced and long down her top and bold in terms of her rib. Plenty of shape from, from behind. She's not as big footed as the heifer we have in second. A heifer, she probably doesn't have as much set to her hind leg, but she moves as good off of her hind leg, and she doesn't want to push as much out of her front end structure when she comes at you as the heifer we have in second. I love the heifer in second in terms of a bone and foot size standpoint and big swoopy rib in her, a female that still, when you analyze her down her top, has plenty coming out of the top side of her shoulder and out of her hip. She's not as attractive up to her front end. She doesn't have the length of front. She's not as tidy about the top of her neck and to her, through her throat as the heifers on either side of her, but I thought her advantages in terms of the way she handles her, her hind leg and the way she handles her top line over the move is why she's second over the heifer in third. Heifer in third sure gives you a neat look. Really love the way her neck sets up on the top of her shoulder. I really like the sweep to her rib. She has a very, very attractive hind leg. When you get her on the move, she's very soft in her passer, and she does want to be just a tick bow-legged as she goes away from you, but I like this heifer a lot. I think both th three really nice females. I think when you analyze her and compare her to the other two, there's just a few more modifications in terms of loin and tail head and that hind leg when you compare her to the other two. This heifer fits the same mold as those heifers. I just want to see her have more angle and more flex out of her front end. I love the body. I love the hip and hind leg. I love her neck. She has a tick more chest, and she's straighter up through her front one-third. The young lady's heifer coming out next. She too is very good in terms of her body, her hind leg set. She too gets very straight up through her shoulder. She doesn't have the belly that the one right in front of her does. You know, the heifer coming out next is a nice complete heifer. She's not the biggest and most powerful. When you compare her to the heifers on down the line, I think she's a little looser in terms of her skeleton. A heifer that's nice and moderate and gonna make a nice cow. Young lady's heifer coming out next, a really good showman on this one. This heifer has some pizzazz to her. I kept her up as long as I could, but we just need her to have more body when you analyze her and compare to some of the other heifers. The one right behind her does that. She has more swoop and depth to her rib, but she's straighter up through her shoulder. She's lower in terms of her pin set. And as we get down the line, maybe just a few more balance and structure problems within this particular, uh, the last five heifers. Well, congratulations in class 14, percentage Simmental heifers. First place goes to back number 60675, Brock Cottrell of Lawton, Oklahoma, with CKCC MS Madison 1680J. Second place in that class will go to back number 60999, Sarah Sullivan of Dunlap, Iowa, with J. Saul Bank on it, 1240J. Third place in that class goes to back number 60900, Braylon Berlowitz of Cushing, Oklahoma, with Jasmine J55. Fourth place in that class goes to back number 60896, Cash Hansaker of Nevada, Iowa. Fifth place in that class will go to back number 60888, it's exhibited by Peyton Hartel. Sixth place went to back number 60904, Samantha Roberts. Seventh place, back number 60892, Arabella Baines. Eighth place in that class, number 60897, Ty Kitzro. Ninth place in that class, exhibited by Judson Dorman. Tenth place, Hank Hanza. Eleventh place, Paisley Olson. Twelfth place in that class went to Riley Smith. And thirteenth went to Travis Clem. We do have a correction on those placings. Third place in that class went to Hank Hanza, back number 60890. And 10th place in that class went to Rylan Berlowitz. 
Once again, congratulations to those exhibitors. Now in ring one, we have class 15, percentage Semital heifers born March of 2021. This will be your final class before we select our champion reserve spring heifer calves.
really a nice class of females here, and we got a lot of differences in shape and size, but when you get up here, I think these two heifers most effectively combine body and structure to the highest degree. And then I, I realize that the heifer we're going to use to win is a little bigger framed and, and, and a little farther along than some of the heifers we've used, but she's just the best. When you analyze her and compare her to the heifer in second, the way she hand, handles herself in her top line and her hip on the move, she's a little more relaxed in her loin and leveler out over her hip. A heifer that when you analyze the two and up through the front one third, her neck ties higher. She's really good in her throat. Where she has an advantage, she's set further back in terms of her chest. And when you get them on the side, she's just a better looking, bigger volume, stouter featured heifer. I'd like to, I think she maybe, uh, when you get her on the move, wants to push just a little bit out of her front end when you set her into motion. And that's an advantage I give to the heifer in second. I think she's a little more set back at her knee. Uh, I like her frame size just a shot better. I really like this heifer. I think that she's got a nice broody look to her, a good rib cage. When you got her out here and you set her in next to that other heifer, uh, it wasn't necessarily the size at all that did it. When this heifer gets on the move, she got a little up in her top. Heifer, when she comes out, her neck sets a little lower out of her shoulder and doesn't look quite as collected, both standing and at the move in terms of her balance. This heifer's got really cool parts to her. She's long bodied, she's long neck, she's big boned. You just like to see a little more cow power through this heifer's center body and back through her flank. A heifer that doesn't have quite the maternal look that the two in front of her do, but I think you certainly still have to appreciate her for her wow factor and her bone and foot size and neck extension. The young man's heifer we have coming out next probably has a little more broodiness and cowiness to her in terms of her rib shape. She's a little cleaner and flatter about her joints. A heifer that just doesn't have quite that eye appeal and dimension that the heifer in front of her does. Really a wide made heifer that comes out next for as wide as she is handles herself pretty well. She's got good flexibility, but she gets a little outside of herself. And when she stops, she gets kind of out in terms of her shoulder. But I like a lot of things about this heifer. When you got that much substance and you still have some flexibility, it's certainly something to be admired. The young lady's heifer has probably a little neater look to her than some of the heifers we have right behind her. A nicely shown, nicely presented heifer. I just want to maybe see a little bit more cow there. And she gets a little tighter in terms of her structure. When you compare her to the heifer right behind her, I think she has a bit more pizzazz. A little more shape when she goes away from you. As we get on down the line, I think really some good heifers, some heifers that maybe just didn't balance up, so a few more things I'd like to change in terms of their structural design, but nice class. Let's give those exhibitors a nice round of applause. Well, congratulations in class 15. First place goes to back number 60909, Hadley Hendrickson of Farmland, Indiana, with SNS TS, TSSC. B.T. Ariana, 1226J, second place in that class, went to back number 60913. Abby Tleck, third place, will go to back number 60689, exhibited by Kinzer Gallagher, fourth place in that class, went to back number 60911, exhibited by Bryce Leafers, Fifth place went to back number 60907, exhibited by Landon Oakley. Sixth place went to back number 60912, Josie Phillips. Seventh place, back number 60914, Tyler Miller. Eighth place, back number 60915, Luke Herr. Ninth place went to Brecken Shrugs. Eleventh, tenth place went to Hayes Rickstrew. And eleventh place went to Marcy Cobb. Now in ring one, we'll bring in all of your first and seconds to select the champion and reserve spring heifer calf here in your percentage Semental show.
Well, congratulations over here in ring two. We have gotten started with your open main on Jew bull show. First place in class 17 spring bull calves. Went to back number 9239, Jay Boy, all day 001, J-E-T, exhibited by Jared Boyer of Pleasantville, Iowa. In second place in that class, we'll go to back number 9001, K-N-A, Jester, 5-0, J-E-T, exhibited by K-N-A Farm of Blakesburg, Iowa. We'll now look for class 18, Maine and Juice Spring Bull Calves, born March of 2021. When you come back around, let's get that way just a little farther, okay? Congratulations over here in your main on Jew ring. First place goes to back number 9247, Men Full Count 232J, exhibited by Justin Ment of Adrian, Minnesota. And second place went to back number 9246, RIM Judo Chop 496J, exhibited by Sarah Rimple. We'll now bring in class 19, main on Jew spring bull calves, born January to February of 2021. I was going to walk him once after we talked the division, but while he was talking that class, I thought we'd go ahead and get that out of the way. Really an impressive division. You know, there was top threes in about every class that if you wanted to go different ways, I sure think you could. Uh, there was just so much depth in terms of quality. Uh, I tried to stay as consistent as I possibly could in terms of what I was looking for and what we were picking. Uh, we'll talk just a little bit about these heifers out here, and then we'll go out and pick your division champion. Young man's June heifer down on the end. I like her as well as any in terms of her structure, particular, particularly her structure out of her front end. She probably handles her shoulder and her knee as well as any heifer we have out here. Really a big-bodied female, a heifer that when you analyze from the side, balances up pretty nice. She's not quite got the pizzazz up through her front end that some of the others do, but I think a heifer is going to make a very nice female for that young man. The heifer that comes out of our second class is one that puts a lot of nice things together. I think from a structure and balance and stoutness standpoint, she does a lot of nice things. She's as nice as any from the side. A heifer that we talked about, she can maybe get 
at that point, we thought she could maybe have a little bit more set to her knee, but as we kind of worked down through the classes, I'm not sure we ever found one that was exactly perfect in the way that they moved out of their front end, and she does have a really nice uh, hip and hind leg to her. The heifer out of our next class, uh, really nice class. She won because I thought she was the most attractive. The cowiest in terms of her belly had a really nice hind leg set. When you get her back out here, she probably doesn't have the width and dimension when she comes and goes as some of the other heifers, but you have to appreciate her for her look and her depth. Heifer that's, that does a nice job when you get her on the move. A really unique heifer that comes out next. I think that this heifer uh, from the side view profile is just impeccable in terms of the way her neck ties out of, the, of her shoulder. Tremendous in terms of her rib. A heifer that when you get her out into motion, a heifer that hits her stride really good. She's set back at her knee. If anything, I was going to pick on this heifer. She's just a tick pigeon toed when she comes at you. But like I said, I'd probably like to modify each and every one of them just a slight bit in terms of their front end structure. The heifer that comes out of the next division, or the next class, has won she too from the side. It's just overwhelming. Her balance and her substance and her length and dimension is really, really good. A heifer that's probably a bit more, si has more size than some of the other cattle we picked. A heifer I told, uh, when we analyzed her, you know, if you were going to change her when she comes at you, you know, she too wants to roll out just a little bit. Uh, but I think just a really nice female. I think you can go a lot of different ways here. Uh, there's also some seconds over here. Uh, that are in um, contention. I don't know that there's one that if, if you walk away and say, if you don't use this one, you're completely out. I think you can go a lot of different ways. Let's give these exhibitors a nice round of applause. Go, go look at them one more time, and we'll get you a champion. Well, congratulations, your champion spring heifer calf over here in your percentage Simmental ring. Goes to back number 60675, exhibited by Brock Cottrell of Lawton, Oklahoma, with CKCC Miss Madison, 1680J.
And congratulations, your reserve champion Spring Heifer Calf comes out of class 15, back number 60909, exhibited by Handley Hendrickson of Farmland, Indiana, with SNS TSSC BT Ariana 1226J. Once again, congratulations to those exhibitors. That does conclude our first division here in your percentage Semental show. We'll now look for class 16, percentage Semental heifers born February of 2021. Well, congratulations over in the main ring. We have the result of Class 21, Maine on June late spring yearling bulls. First place went to back number 9262, BKMT High Society, 10HET, exhibited by Buck and Morton Cattle Company of Stratford, Oklahoma. And second place went to back number 9261, BLKD Gravy Train, exhibited by Annie Ranke of Carson, Iowa. We'll now bring in your first and seconds and select a grand and reserve grand champion, Maine on Bowl. Another tremendous class, and I think these two heifers hit me the hardest whenever uh, they walked in the class. And I think 
you, know, you kind of as you work them up, uh, probably it was uh, is not as close as what I initially thought once you kind of get them here to the end. As good as both of them are, I think this heifer just has enough added advantages in the way that she is, is designed up through her shoulder, the way she handles her hind leg, and then when you get off to the side of them, she's just got a broodier look. Her, her chest floor where it tucks up and the relationship to how much depth she has while also being the longer bodied heifer. Uh, when you get them in the motion, I like the way she handles her loin and tail head just a little bit better. I love the heifer in second. She's square. She's dimensional. She's stouter and more muscular than the heifer that wins the class. She's a bigger bone, bigger footed heifer. I don't think she has quite the maternal look when you analyze her through her center body. She doesn't maybe handle herself quite as nicely on the move, although she is still very sound. I'd like to strengthen her just a little bit in her loin and set her tail head down. The young lady's heifer comes out next. She's a little piecey. She's a little out in her shoulder, but I like her flexibility and her broodiness. She's, her neck is good. Her belly is good. Her flexibility is good. I just wish she put it all together a little nicer, but I still like her structure over the, some of the heifers we have down below her. The next three heifers we have coming out next I thought had more volume than the final three. This lady's heifer is really neat and attractive and presented nicely. She's a little more moderate in terms of her package, but I think a heifer that's really got a lot of good in her. The young man's heifer comes out next. You like her on the stand. She's really attractive. When you get her out, she's a little narrow and she's a little uncoordinated on her hind leg. The young man's heifer coming out next is one that she too is very attractive from the side and presented nicely. Just give her a little bit more depth and a little more slope up through her shoulder. Then the remaining three heifers we probably just want to fix in terms of their feet and legs. Give them the volume to compete with some of the heifers in front of them.
Well, congratulations, your grand champion, Main Anju Bull, exhibited by Buck and Morton Cattle Company with BKMT High Society 10 HET. And congratulations, your reserve grand champion, Maynon Jubal, goes to back number 9556, MCCF Jaggermeister, exhibited by Candace Muir of Waynesfield, Ohio. Congratulations to all of those exhibitors. We will get started with your open main Angus Bull show here in just a moment.
Well, congratulations over here in ring two results. A class 22 main Angus spring bull calves. First place went to back number 9286 K&S cover charge. 960J exhibited by K&S Cattle Company. And second place goes to back number... 9287 JFRMS Liston 5JET exhibited by Brett Jones. As we get this class out here, I'll admit I don't know that it's sorted quite as easy as some of the other classes have. Not that anything's been easy with the quality we've had, but the heifer that when she hit the ring hit me the hardest uh, by far was the young man's heifer we're going to go ahead and stick with. Uh, this heifer's got a little bit more scale. Uh, she's a little later maturing, and with that, she's in just. A, she seems just a little gangly, a little wobbly, but she has the best angles in terms of her in terms of her structure. I love the neck length that she has, and the way her neck ties out of her shoulder, and the way her shoulders set back. I think for her size, she's appropriate in terms of the amount of depth and volume that she has. When you get her stopped and set up to, I think she gives you the most balanced and eye appealing look. When you compare her to the heifer in second, even though that she gets just a little wobbly out here, I think she definitely comes at you straighter and truer off of her front end. I think she has more set to her hind legs and sets down into a softer pastern. And I think that just heifer just has the most good things for her in this particular class. There's a little bit more just completeness in terms of the way this heifer is and the way she comes out of the top side of her shoulder and in behind her shoulder. She has more maturity and she's got more condition coming in some places where she needs Needs it, a heifer that I love in terms of her balance and profile when she gets set up. But I'd like to modify that heifer a little when you get her on the move. She comes at you, she wants to toe out a little bit, and she gets set down a little softer off of a bigger rear foot. That's an advantage I give to the heifer right behind her. I think this heifer is bigger footed. I think she is uh, probably set back just a little bit nicer to knee. There's not as much to this heifer in terms of width and volume as the heifers on either side of her. And when you get off to the side of her for being really fresh, uh, she does set down just a tick lower in terms of the base of her chest. But I think another female that's really nice. The heifer that comes out next, I, I like a lot of things about as well. Uh, when this heifer's standing, she has more volume than the heifer right in front of her. She's got more pin width. She's wider and more powerfully constructed. She also comes to us a little quicker and higher conditioned to, and when you compare to that heifer, she's not as fresh up through her front one third, and she really wants to get outside of herself when she comes at you. When you get her parked, you love her. The young lady's a good showman. The heifer's nicely presented, and there's a lot to her. The young man's heifer, I think the next pair is pretty close. I thought the young man's heifer was a little fresher. I thought when you get her out here, she maybe handled her hind leg just a little less choppy. Uh, the young lady's heifer certainly has more volume. This young lady does a really nice job showing. When she comes at you, she wants to toe out just a little bit. She gets going fast and gets pretty choppy out here on the move. The red heifer that comes out next, I thought was a nicer structured heifer than the two right behind her. Uh, she probably has given up some body to those two heifers. The two heifers coming out next, heifers that have some quality to them, maybe just need them to be a little nicer when you get them out of the move. Well, congratulations in the main on Jew ring, class 25. First place went to back number 9293, JCC CD Proven Class 22H, exhibited by Jones Cattle Company of Chapin, Illinois. We'll now bring in class 26 over here in your main on Jew ring. Back over here in the Simmental ring, we have the result of class 17. First place went to back number 60884, Turner Longacre of Kellyville, Oklahoma, with BBRS Josie 265J. Second place went to back number 60929, Taylor Poff of Chardon, Ohio, with SNS TSSC Simply Amazing 1021J. Third place went to back number 60939, Gabby Tebow of Idaville, Indiana, Fourth place went to back number 60936, exhibited by Allison Hemman. 
Fifth place went to back number 60937, exhibited by Hayes Anderson. Sixth place went to back number 60934, Braylon Berlowitz. Seventh place exhibited by Alan George. Eighth place went to Emery Mills. Ninth place, Tug Kennedy. Tenth place in that class goes to Avery Rendon. We'll now bring in class 18 percentage Simmentals, born January of 2021. Well, congratulations. First place in class 26, back number 9294, SCC Unmatched Traditions, exhibited by Hannah Schroeder of Louisville, Ohio. We'll now bring in all of your first and seconds, and our judges will select their champion and reserve champion, May and Angus Bowles. Two really nice, or really nice class, and I think as you get these two heifers up here, I think they're the most effective combination of balance and, and, and substance, and there's subtle differences between the two. I think when you get them on the side view profile, I think the heifer we're going to go ahead and start with is more attractive up through a front one-third. 
I like her waist, her neck ties out of her shoulder. She's a little better in the U of her neck and up to her crest. Heifer that's a little freer down through her chest. I think there's some differences in terms of these heifers in terms of their movement. I definitely prefer this heifer in the way she moves out of her front end. When she comes at you, she stays a lot more collected and within herself than the heifer in second. Uh, I think the heifer in second sets down a little softer off of a little bigger foot and maybe just a tick more flexible hind leg. But I think when you get these heifers on the side, I do think this heifer is a bit more attractive up to her front one third and a little fresher in terms of her condition. And that's where we're going to go ahead and start with this heifer. The heifer that comes out next, like I said, has the advantage in terms of foot size, in terms of probably length of stride off of her back end. Where I want to change this heifer is when, when you analyze her as she comes at you, she really wants to throw her front feet out. And I think some of that maybe goes to the way she's designed in terms of her neck, in terms of her chest. But from there back, she's phenomenal in terms of just volume and, and mass and dimension and her hind leg. But just want to change her up front. The heifer that comes out next, I think, is the, it, when you compare to the heifer right behind her, gets off of a more functional hind leg. She's probably given up some in terms of body over that heifer. When you get these two heifers on the, on the stand, I really like the way the neck ties out of this heifer. She's got good slope up through her shoulder. She just takes up a little freer stride than the heifer right next to her. I love this heifer coming out next in terms of her body and dimension. A heifer, like we said, we just like to free her up a tick when you get her out here and set her into motion. Young lady heifer we have coming out next is a nice uh, broody kind of a female. She just gets a little choppier out of her front end. It doesn't have the size and the, and the scale and, and it factor that some of the heifers we have in front of her. The two young men's heifers we have coming out next, I'd like to maybe see them just a little softer in terms of their movement, uh, but I thought the young man's heifer in the vest just had a little bit more substance than the one that concludes the class. Well, congratulations, your champion, Maine Angus Bull, goes to back number 92-94, NSSC, SCC, Unmatched Traditions, exhibited by Hannah Schroeder of Louisville, Ohio. And your reserve champion, Maine Angus Bull, here at the Cattlemen's Congress, goes to back number 9286, KS Cover Charge 960, exhibited by KS Cattle Company of South Maid, Texas. Once again, congratulations to those exhibitors. We are now going to go into your maintainer bull show here in Ring Two. Back over in your percentage Simmental ring, we have the results of class 18. Class 18 first place went to Morgan Jackson of Kaufman, Texas. Second place, Olivia Rooker of Bend, Oregon. Third place went to Jamie Hoblin of York, Nebraska. Fourth place, exhibited by Delaney Chester. Fifth place, exhibited by Josie Phillips. Sixth place, Garrett Walther. And seventh place in that class, Ryan Crossway. 
Now in ring one is class 19, percentage Simmental heifers born January of 2020. As we get to I, the towards the end of this division, I think we found a really nice one to start off this class. There's a lot of different shapes and sizes past her, but you know this effort, you start breaking her down, there's not a lot of big holes here. Um, she's probably as nice in terms of her feet and leg movement um, as, as most of them that we've seen. Just a really a natural look to her. I like the appropriation of size. I like her freshness of condition. I like her natural body shape. I just think there's a lot of good in this female. Congratulations, young man. Uh, the next two heifers I think you can do different things with. I think the young lady's heifer we're going to go ahead and start with handles herself just a bit nicer on the move. The young man's heifer in third is more dimensional. There's a lot, a lot of bone and substance to that heifer. When you get that heifer out on the move, she gets just a little coarser and tighter out of her hock. But I think another nice female as well. The young lady's heifer that follows that heifer is probably a little more feminine and flatter about her shoulder. A heifer that you like in terms of her, her cleanness of condition. She just gives up so much mass to the heifer right in front of her. After that, the young lady's heifer is another long feminine heifer that's really long and extended from the point of her shoulder back to her pins. Just needs a shot of belly and flank. The heifer that comes out next just needs to be a little sounder off her back end. I put the white-legged heifer over the two heifers right behind her. I thought she was a little cowier in terms of her rib than the heifers that follow her in this particular class. But another really nice uh, set of females. I really like the heifer that starts the class. Well, congratulations over here in your Simmental ring. Results of class 19. First place was exhibited by Wade Spencer of Logan, Iowa with J-Boy Tammy. Second place was exhibited by Jenna White of Blakesburg, Iowa. Third place went to Brody Wennell of Lawrence, Iowa. Fourth place goes to Kirsten Hesselmeyer. Fifth place went to Caitlin Harris. Sixth place exhibited by Craig and Bristol. Seventh place exhibited by Charlie Sutherland. Eighth place was exhibited by Kendall Raff. And ninth place, Grayson Jones. Now in your Simmental ring, we'll be bringing in your first and second since select a champion reserve junior heifer calf.
Well, congratulations in class 27. Your Maintain Your Bull Show first place will go to back number 9266. KMEM, Mr. Just Do It ET, exhibited by Koi Muin. Second place goes to back number 9268. JABR, Sill Daddy's Home, 115J, exhibited by SL and Jenna Craft. Third place goes to back number 9269, exhibited by Hope Cattle Company. Fourth place, exhibited by Brooklyn Burden. And fifth place is exhibited by Anthony Hansen. Now over here in ring two, we have class 28, maintainer spring bull calves, born March of 2021. As we get out here, just a, another incredibly impressive division. Like we said in the first division, there's so many good cattle, so many cattle that are pleasing to me, and I think that there's different things you could do within each and every class, uh, but I'm here to please one guy today, and that would be myself. Uh, when you get these cattle out here, I think you can go different ways, but I think there's a heifer out here that kind of does it for me. I'll talk about each one of them. You'll probably be able to figure out which one it is. The heifer we have that start in the first division is one that I've, when you got her stopped, gives you such a nice look and a big soft belly in her. A heifer that's got good angle off of both ends of her skeletal. She's set, skeleton. She's set back at her knee. A heifer we get right behind her. She probably doesn't have quite as much shape as a couple of the heifers out here, but one that I just love in terms of her silhouette. I love in terms of her body. She beat a really nice heifer in class. She just outmassed her a bit today. The next class I thought was more challenging. There was different shapes and sizes. Going on down the road within this class, this is the one I would take. I like her in terms of her angles to her structure. Uh, I like her neck extension. She has, she has genuine shape and to her rib and her muscle while being lean. Like I said, she's just a little awkward and gangly at this point when she, when she goes at you because she's got a little more scale and a little more length. The next class winner is one, when you get her out on the side, another beautifully presented female that's fresh in terms of her neck and condition. Have her really like the way her chest sets into her. A heifer that's fit really nicely. She beat a nice heifer in her class because she was sounder out of her front end than the heifer we had right in front of her, or right behind her. We said we'd like to see her set down just a little softer off of her back leg. Then the young man's heifer out of her, our next class. One that's maybe not just as... Uh, Pizzazzy in terms of the way she's fit and shown, but I think a heifer when you get her out here I think a heifer is the truest in terms of her structure. I love her foot size and her bone I like where she is in terms of her condition in terms of where she is in terms of her size She's the one that I find a hard time finding fault with and she's going to be her division champion the last one Well, congratulations, your champion junior heifer calf goes to back number 60951, Wade Spencer of Logan, Iowa with J-Boy Tammy. And your reserve division over here on the Semental side, reserve junior heifer calf. We'll go to back number 60927, exhibited by Sarah Sullivan of Dunlap, Iowa, with Seldom Rest Sandy 1020J. Congratulations to those exhibitors.
Ed and congratulations over here in your main maintainer bold ring. Class 29, first place, went to back number 9277, TJSC Game Time, 10JET, exhibited by Jones Show Cattle of Herod, Ohio. And second place, went to back number 9276, CAL Clyde 02J, exhibited by Jason Calhoun. We'll now look for Class 30, Maintainer Winter Bowl Cavs, born November to December of 2020. Well, congratulations in class 30 over here in your maintainer ring. First place goes to back number 9279. Fires Bandit 528 GT exhibited by Parker, Parker Schwartz. And second place went to back number 9278. Press D, DBV Recount 103J exhibited by 
Kendall Leonard. Well, now bringing Class 31 Maintainer Fall Bull Calves, born September to October of 2020. Another really nice class here to start off your fall division. The heifer we're going to go ahead and win with, I think, is the best in terms of her balance. I think really a striking dimensional heifer that when she's on the stand, you just really, really like the strength that she has right behind her shoulders. When you compare to the heifer in second, she is stronger up high behind her shoulders and down low. She's also a little higher in the way she's designed about her pin set. A heifer that probably doesn't have quite as much swoop to her belly, but I think that is because she's just so much longer from the point of her shoulder back to her pins. I think both heifers are sound enough. They're probably different in the way they move, but I think two really nice females. I like the heifer in second. Like I said, I like the angle she has to her shoulder. Uh, she's a nice, soft, soft pasterned heifer. When she gets out on the move, she gets her hind legs up underneath her just a tick. She's a little lower in their pin set and would like to strengthen her up just a little bit in behind her shoulders, but I think there's a lot of good there as well. The young lady's heifer we have coming out next, I think, where she, why she stands up where she does is her movement. When you compare to the rest of the class, she's got the most flexibility off of both ends. She probably gives up a little center body and a little neatness of neck to some of the heifers right behind her, but I like that heifer to get her on the travel. Same way with the young man's heifer. She's a little smaller, not quite as high performing as some in here, but I think when you compare her, she's got more angulation and freeness of stride compared to the remaining class. The young lady's heifer that comes out next, we just like to give a little more slope to her shoulder. The heifer right behind her is more dimensional and probably a bit bigger footed. You just want to give her a bit more attractiveness up through her front one third, up through her neck and crest. And then you get down to the heifer that comes out next. Really a wide square heifer, a heifer that's maybe just a tick tighter in her movement. And the heifers we have remaining just like to see them balance up a little nicer and get out and take a longer freer stride. Well, congratulations over here in your maintainer ring. First place in class 31 goes to 9280. Fires Outlaw 51 HET exhibited by Parker Schwartz. Back over in the Simmental ring, we have the result of class 20. First place went to back number 60968 exhibited by Mercedes Ferry of Sullivan, Indiana with STCC Serena's Gift 0173. Second place, exhibited by Addison Bartlow of Monticello, Illinois. Third place was exhibited by Charlie Kinder of Piedmont, Oklahoma. Fourth place, Chase Anderson of Purcell, Oklahoma. Fifth place went to Kylie Richardson of Wagoner, Oklahoma. Sixth place went to Griffin Barons of Colbert, Oklahoma. Seventh place, Kale Robinson of Cushing, Oklahoma. Eighth place goes to McCoy Landwehr of Enid, Oklahoma. Ninth place, Landon Smith. We'll now bring in class 21, percentage Simmental heifers born September to October of 2020. Well, congratulations. Our final class of Maintainer Bulls, first place. We'll go to 92.83. SHUMJ Bankable 01, exhibited by Sky Shoemaker of Hayworth, Illinois. We'll now bring in all of your first and seconds over here in your Maintainer Bowl show and select a grand and reserve grand champion.
another really nice class of falls over here. And these top three, I thought kind of worked their self up here. And there's differences within the three, and they all have some advantages. And I'll just tell you how I kind of saw it. The heifer that we're going to go ahead and start with, I think, is the female that's the most dimensional. I think she has the most shape and dimension. I think she's got a lot of performance and weight per day of age. And I think when you get that heifer set up, she has a lot of balance. When you compare her to the heifer right behind her, she's a little stronger right in behind her shoulders. This heifer was a little slow starter when she came in here. She was a little tighter in terms of her movement. She's pushing that young lady down around a little bit. When you get her out and let her go and get out, she does a nice job getting out and hitting her stride. I do like the belly depth and the swoop to this heifer that we have in second, but at the same time, she's carrying a lot more condition down there too in terms of her rear rib and flank, a heifer that I do like in the way she's set back at her knee, a heifer that gets a little soft in terms of her top line, a heifer that doesn't have quite the shape and dimension as the heifer we start with. I like the heifer in third a great deal as well. You know, that heifer's probably not got the hair uh, and some of the look that the other two heifers have, but I like this heifer in terms of her freshness. I like her kind. I like her hind leg. I think she's set back really nice at her knee. When she comes at you, she wants to get a little pigeon-toed. She doesn't have quite the neck extension. Her neck doesn't tie quite as high as those two heifers in front of her. The heifer that comes out next does have a little nicer, higher tying neck to her, but she doesn't have the softness through her center body. She's not as flexible on the move as you get compare her to the three in front of her. The young lady is definitely coming out next, a little more feminine female than the one right in front of her, but not near the power and dimension and bone and foot size. Heifer that comes out next is a very feminine heifer, heifer that probably travels with a little more slope to her shoulder than the one right in front of her, a heifer that just gives up a little in terms of mass and dimension and depth of body within this class. The two young ladies have coming out next, two heifers we just like to free up a bit in terms of their movement. Well, congratulations back over here on the maintainer ring. Your grand champion maintainer bull goes back to number 9266. KMEM, Mr. Just Do It ET, exhibited by Koi Moonen. And reserve champion went to back number 9268. GABRSIL, Daddy's Home 115J, exhibited by SL and Jenna Craft. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We are now going to go into your main Angus female show over here in ring two. Back over in ring one, we have the results of class 21, percentage Simmental heifers. First place went to Josie Phillips of Maysville, Kentucky, with RPWCC Valentine H089. Second place, exhibited by Tommy Rabel of Lake Park, Iowa, with J Boy Tammy 081H. Third place in that class, exhibited by Ty Kitzrow of St. Charles, Iowa, with JS Dairy Queen 74H. Fourth place was exhibited by Roanne Harper. Fifth place exhibited by Hallie Wright. Sixth place was exhibited by Callie Cloud. Seventh place in that class exhibited by Marcy Koff. And eighth place exhibited by Shelby Sprandon. Now in the ring we have our first and second. Senior Dudge will be selecting his champion reserve senior heifer calves. As we get out here to pick your senior heifer calf division, what I thought not big numbers in this class, but I think, you know, four really, really quality females that, you know, can go anywhere and compete anywhere and just tremendous quality. Let's give these exhibitors a round of applause before I talk to these cattle. I think just it's a small division, but the quality is so good. As we get them out here, I'll talk all four of them. The two class winners, the young ladies heifer that we have that out of the first class, one that just screams quality to me 
in terms of bone and foot size and extension up front. I have her that with, with as much length and mass and dimension she has, she keeps it all together so well. She's really strong in behind her shoulders. She's almost perfectly designed out over her hip. She's not probably got as much swoop to her belly as the heifer right behind her, but she balances so good and, and is so clean in her condition from her forib back through her flank. I think a heifer that when you get her out here, she moves as good as any of them. I think they all could be modified just a tick, but I think she gets out and hits her stride off of probably the biggest foot out of any heifer we have out here. The young lady's heifer out of the second class, uh, one that I really like in terms of just dimension width of chest, four rib, top shape, shape from behind. You know, a heifer that doesn't have as much bone and foot size. And like we said, she was a bit of a slow starter in class. But as she loosened up, she really got out and hit her stride well. She doesn't maybe have the attractiveness of the heifer right in front of her, her bone and foot size. But like we said, she does have an advantage, probably in terms of arch and curvature and depth to her rib. The two heifers we have in the two and second spots, the heifer out of our first class, you love the way her neck ties high out of her shoulder, although she's not quite as clean as our class winner. She's also deeper in terms of her center, but she wasn't as good in terms of her top line. She's a little lower in terms of her pin placement, and although she gets out and, and hits her stride and reaches really long, she, when she does that, she gets up underneath herself and wants to drop her pins a little bit. The heifer that was second out of her last class, standing still, I like her as well as any. I like her her kind in terms of her moderation, her neck extension, her depth. She's big boned and big footed. She's a heifer when you get her out, you think she'd move perfect and because she's got good angles, but she gets out here and she gets a little short strided. I think let's, these, this division you can do different things with, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the two class winners. I'm gonna use the young lady heifer here, out of the first class and the one out of your second class for your champion reserve and division. Congratulations. Well, congratulations over here in the percentage Simmental ring. Your champion senior heifer calf goes to back number 60968. Mercedes Faree of Sullivan, Indiana with STCC Serena's Gift 0173. And reserve champion exhibited by Josie Phillips of Maysville, Kentucky with RPWCC Valentine H089. We now look to bring in class 22 percentage Simmentals born May to July of 2020.
I went ahead and walked these one more time because first and second in this division is going to be uh, representing your championship drive because uh, this class is a division. Uh, you know, there's different things in different sizes. You can you can make a case for different things, but there's uh, there's one July heifer in here and three Mays, and I never wavered from this July heifer. To me, she's easily the best structured heifer. That's the best balance. She's really nice in terms of her condition. For as lean and, and fresh as she is, she still has enough shape to her rib. She's not the most powerfully designed, most powerfully constructed one, but she's the one that pleases me from a structural design, a balance standpoint. I think a nice place to start within this class. I think it gets close to after that, but I think of this heifer uh, in second would relax just a little bit and not fight him so much, she's an easy second. She's wanting to get a little weird off of this front leg. She doesn't have quite the extension or the soundness of the one we start with, but I think if she relaxes, she still moves as good as any of them. I think she's the one that combines balance and dimension with some freshness of the last three heifers. I think you can do different things on the next two. And yes, I would like to see the heifer in third, fresher and freer of condition, up through her neck and chest and down through her lower body. But I like this heifer probably as a cow better than the one in fourth. I like her moderation just a tick better. I think she's a little cleaner and flatter about her joints. The young lady's heifer coming out next is a really intriguing animal. It's really long-necked and big-boned and long-bodied. I'd just like to soften her up, set her down on her tail head, and just free her up in her movement a bit. Well, congratulations, your champion intermediate heifer goes back number 60988, exhibited by McKenna Snodgrass of Brock, Nebraska, with F-H-E-N Cassidy H09. Reserve in that division will go to Jordan Stevens of Ewing, Kentucky, with SBC Melania 973H. Third place went to back number 60997, Allison Memon of Plainfield, Iowa with KJK1 sign off in fourth place, exhibited by Madison Frazier of Meeker, Oklahoma. Now coming into the ring will be class 23 percentage Semental heifers born April of 2020.
Well, I felt like we were moving along at a pretty good clip, and the reason this class took as long as it did is uh, I didn't want to put a single one of these heifers at the bottom of the class. Um, from, you know, the young lady with the red collar on down, you know, I, I had all of you in the last spot, and I had all of you up there. I, just, I think all those cattle are good. They're just different. I didn't want to put any of those cattle bottom. The same way I like all three of these up here on this top. Uh, I didn't want to put any one of these three third in this particular class. I think you can do these different ways. Um, there's this, this heifer from the beginning to the end I thought was the combination heifer. Um, there's some cliches I'm probably going to use within this class that I don't r really like in terms of you know hedging within this class because I had this, this trio of females placed this way, I had him placed opposite of this way, but every time I kept coming back to the young man's heifer we're going to go ahead and start with, I placed her third on the way she's acting. She is fighting you. Uh, she doesn't want to go when you got to go back that way. But I think when you read this heifer's angles, this heifer's angles are good. I like her size. I like her cowiness. I like uh, the fact that this heifer is far along in terms of gestation. I think she's just the most complete heifer. Uh, not a lot of holes in this heifer other than she's just being really, really pushy out here. You know, you can do different things. I, from here, I thought the young man's heifer in second most followed the type and kind of the one we use to start with. In terms of size, in terms of uh, hind leg movement, uh, this heifer is probably the freshest in terms of her condition of the three. She's not as far along in terms of calf of the three, but if you analyze her, she does have a really nice udder structure forming and really nice teats. She's third in terms of volume out here, but I think this heifer is really, really fresh. She works off of her really hind leg. She's set back great at her knee. She does want to walk outside of herself a little bit when she comes at you. The heifer that is the problem was the heifer in third. Um, when this heifer, when you compare her to the other two, she outmasses and outpowers them. Uh, there's no doubt about that in terms of size, width of top, muscle from behind. This heifer, when you compare to the three, is probably, you know, the least sleek up through her neck. She's a bit bigger in her kind than some of the heifers that we have out here. A uh, heifer that when you get her out and travel, she's as sound as those other two. She just comes at you with a little more shoulder, a little thicker neck, not quite the, the moderation of the other heifers. But if you want to start with that heifer, you sure can because I had her first a couple times. The heifer we have coming out next, I think of the remaining class, I thought was the most fault free. I think she's long bodied. I think she takes a nice long stride. She's just not as balanced and eye appealing as some of those heifers we had in front of her. Really a highly presented heifer that comes out next. I really like her neck extension. I like her power. She gets a little straight up in her shoulder. She wants to drop in her pins when she goes. But I think a really highly presented, highly shown female. The young man's heifer, if you could keep this heifer within herself on her back legs, she would certainly move up some. A really a wide-bodied heifer that when she's stopped and parked gives you a nice balanced look. But as you watch her come out, uh, when she comes and goes, she just want to keep her more within herself. The heifer that comes out next, a nice sensibly sized stout dimensional heifer, one you just want to free up in terms of a rear pasture and maybe drop down in her center. Maybe one of the more feminine heifers we have within the class just needs a little more dimension all the way through. I've, I went ahead and used the young man's heifer next and gave her advantage of the remaining three for being a little more sensibly sized, for being farther along in terms of calf and showing us some udder. The next two heifers are a little bigger framed and a little straighter out of their shoulder and don't balance quite as nicely.
Well, congratulations over here in your main Angus ring. We have the results of your first class females. First place went back number 91, 11, Henning BC2, Sandy J049 ET, exhibited by Jacob Bresner of Graymont, Illinois. Second place went back number 91, 10, WSCC Camille 97J, exhibited by Abby Wilkins. Third place went to back number 9107, exhibited by Laramie Blakely. And fourth place went to back number 9019, exhibited by Justin Calhoun. Now coming into ring two is class 34, Maine Angus Spring Heifer Calves, born April of 2021. Over in the Semental ring, we have the results of class 23 percentage Semental's. First place went to back number 61010, Garrett Bosse of Mont. Montville, Ohio, with CCS JS Summer 31H. Second place in that class will go to back number 61000, Austin Foss of Northwood, Iowa, with Weiss Miss Nala 401H. Third place exhibited by Lane Hagen of Yoakum, Texas, with J. Saul Juliet Banshee 0445H. Fourth place in that class was exhibited by Kylie Callis. Fifth place, Bailey Thompson. Sixth place in that class was exhibited by Drew Brock. Seventh place went to Samantha Roberts. Eighth place was exhibited by Caitlin Harris. Ninth place, Emery Mills. And tenth place in that class, Mackenzie Derby. Now in the ring, we have class 24 percentage Simmental heifers born March of 2020. Well, congratulations over here in the main Angus ring. First place, we'll go to back number 9115, exhibited by Madison K. Loschke. Second place, we'll go to back number 9112, exhibited by Denby Grossenbacher. And third place, exhibited by Knapp Cattle. Really a nice class and a class that pleases me quite a bit. I thought it kind of fit together. Um, I thought really good in terms of quality. 
but I thought as you got them up here, it got into a top four, then a top three, and then two heifers that I think fit together very nicely in terms of their balance, freshness, uh, their structure, and just the differences. There's more dimension all the way through on the heifer we start with, both in terms of bone and foot size, as well as when you get on top and behind the cattle, she's just got more spread coming out of the top of her shoulder and she's wider pinned. But I love both of them in terms of their freshness, in terms of their structural design and their balance. Like we said, the heifer in first, just a little more powerful, more stouter at the ground and more dimensional when you get up on top of her and behind her. It's taken enough, nothing away from this heifer. I love the way she's set back at her knee. I love the way she's made and neck ties high out of her shoulder. She's long body, but she has so much swoop to her rib cage. She has a really a smooth hock. She has a nice utter development. She's done a nice job getting that heifer into gestation, and I certainly appreciate that. This heifer in third is a very, very nice female. She comes to us in a little more moderate package. A heifer, when she comes at you, she wants to roll out of her front end. She just doesn't have the completeness that the standard on the move uh, when you compare them to those top two heifers, but there's so much good in her in terms of power and bone and foot size and, and, and uh, good ribbed. Like we said, she doesn't move as good out of her front end as those two. She maybe gets just a little tighter in her top when you get her on the move. I thought those two paired up pretty nicely together as being moderate, big-bodied heifers. This heifer that comes out next probably has just a little nicer set to her knee and the way she gets out and moves. Probably not as much pizzazz as that heifer right in front of her. Uh, even though she's probably a little tighter throated, doesn't balance up quite as good when you get her on the side in terms of her underline from her forehead back to her flank. But four awfully good heifers. You know, a lot of people when this heifer in, that comes out next in fifth, her color throws you off a little bit and she wants, maybe wants to roll just a tick out of her shoulder, but you analyze that heifer past that, she's a big bodied, stout, powerfully constructed individual that works off a nice functional hind leg. Next two heifers, uh, the heifer coming out next, really big, a lot of power, maybe just want to moderate her and tone her down a little bit, but I thought she would probably moved a little better than the young man's heifer off of her hind leg coming out next. And the young lady's heifer comes out next is a nice female, just gets outpowered in a really, really good class. Well, congratulations over here in the main Angus ring. Results of class 35. First place went to back number 9116, exhibited by Wyatt Lange of Clyde, Kansas. Second place went to back number 9120, exhibited by Hannah Schaub of Wapakoneta, Ohio. And third place will go to back number 9121, exhibited by Madison Griffin. We'll now bring in those first and seconds and select a Division I champion reserve. Back over here in the percentage Simmental ring, we have the results of class 24. First place was exhibited by Chase Harker of Hope, Indiana with CELL Trixie 0105H. Second place was exhibited by Tanner Curtin of Oxford, Iowa. Third place went to back number 61019, exhibited by Paisley Nelson. Fourth place in that class will go to back number 61023, Emma Huser. Fifth place in that class went to back number 61015, Briley Whitley. Sixth place exhibited by Cade Jones. Seventh place was exhibited by Brassos Heck. And eighth place in that class exhibited by Tegan Schleter. Now in the ring will be class 25, percentage Simmental heifers born January to February of 2020.
Well, congratulations, your champion spring heifer calf. We go to back number 9115, MKL Gwendolyn 92J, exhibited by Madison K. Loschke of Kingsdown, Kansas. And reserve in that division goes to back number 9111, Henning BC2 Sandy J049ET, exhibited by Jacob Bresner of Graymont, Illinois. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We'll now look for Class 36, May Angus spring, hef spring Heifer Calves, born February of 2021.
Well, congratulations over on the main Angus side. This will also be your Division II champion reserve. First place wins back number 9129. Min Katie 133. JET exhibited by Kato Craft. Second place in reserve in that division. Back number 9127. Sec WSCC Princess 10108. JET exhibited by Tyler Miller. Third place went to back number 9124, exhibited by Kobley Lewis. And fourth place, back number 9123, Cody Wall. We'll now bring in class 37, Maine Angus winner Heifer Cavs, born November to December 2020. Congratulations in class 37. First place went to back number 9130. AKNDS Expectation 09H exhibited by Taylor Barber of Brinson, Georgia. We'll now bring in class 38, the main Angus Fall Heifer Cavs, born September to October of 2020.
Well, congratulations over here in your main Angus ring. We have the results of Class 38. First place went to back number 9132, Emma Preston. And second place, 9133, Cash Long. This is kind of what keeps you up at night when you, you look forward to classes that are this good, uh, but you look forward to classes that are this good. Uh, there's always going to be there are things that you look back and you're, you, uh, you think about, but as long as you do the, what you think's right and uh, talk the cattle correctly, then I think you're going to end up coming out of this all right. Uh, the way I look at this class, uh, we got these three heifers down here as, as I thought that they were the cowiest, I thought that they were the best structured, and of those three, I just think that the heifer that we start with balances the best and has is the most fault free when you get in beside her or be, off to the side of her. I like her the best in terms of her shoulder design. She stays a little nicer and flatter about her shoulder. I really like the body depth that she has. I like the way she handles herself out on the move. Really, really big bodied and fresh. She's not probably as far along in calf as the one right behind her. Uh, and, you know, it's a little harder to stay as, as good together when you're a little farther along in calf. But this heifer is just the most together. She works off of a really good hip and hind leg. Her balance and her, and her symmetry from the side, just her smoothness is what puts her into the first hole for me today. She's probably not as long hipped uh, as the other two heifers, but I just think this heifer is the hardest for me to put a hole in. And that's why she's going to win the class today. I think it gets equally as close as we get down to second and third. I think these two heifers are probably more similar in terms of their type and kind. I think both these heifers are sound enough when you get out on the move. This heifer is the freshest in terms of her neck, and, in, and I think a lot of that is, is she's probably the farthest along in terms of her calf, and that's something I certainly, certainly appreciate about her. I like the way this heifer handles her hind leg. She's got good center body. She's got all the stoutness you'd ever want. She has a little bit more shoulder, and I don't mind that, except for I wish sometimes when she'd stop, as she is now, you wish she could keep her front legs together just a little bit better, uh, but I think it's, it's nitpicking on cattle. Uh, but I think this heifer has an advantage in terms of freshness and balance over the heifer in third in terms of chest. A heifer that I think uh, their shoulder design is better. This heifer's fresher. The heifer behind her is probably a little smoother behind her just because she's not as far along in calf. The heifer we have that comes out of, that comes, ends up coming in third, you know, all these cattle are sound. This heifer probably reaches as far as any of them. She wants to roll just a little bit in her shoulder. Where I want to change her is when you get off to the side of her, although she's fresh-necked, her balance is just was, isn't quite as good as those others in terms of her chest floor, in terms of her strength at top. But sure, sure, a really impressive female. Heifer I have coming out next is one that I kept up because she's so sound. She's not as attractive up through her front one third as probably the next four, but I thought she was the best structured, the biggest footed, and the most flexible. Heifer is really long from the point of her shoulder back to her pins and really strong. You make this heifer a little neater necked and chested and she moves right up on in there with the rest of them. A little bigger framed heifer comes on next, uh, not quite as wide skeleton as some of them that follow her, but I liked her in terms of her flexibility as well. She sat back at her knee, I like the slope that she has. From her, from her stifle and her hock and her hock down to the ground. Maybe not the body as some of the others. She wants to come at you a little wide, but, she, but a really nice female as well. The next ever is different. She's really moderate. She's really opened up. She's big footed. Ever just isn't quite as feminine and maternal as the one in front of her. The young man's heifer, if she, just, if she had a little more body to her, a uh, heifer that's really fresh-necked and has a nice hind leg, she maybe gets a little up in her top and wants to pull up in her flank a little bit when you get her out on the move. A real big, bold female that's got some utter development just gets a little piece here. Really a nice class. Let's give those exhibitors a nice round of applause. Well, congratulations in your next division over here in your main Angus show. Division three champion goes to back number 
9132 Press Fox CET exhibited by Emma Preston. And reserve went to back number 9130, Taylor Barber. Now over here in ring two, we'll bring in class 39, Maine Angus Summer Yearling Heifers, born July to August of 2020. Well, congratulations in your main Angus ring. Champion of Division 4 goes to back number 9136, WEBC Hillary 01H, exhibited by Kennedy Van Zant. And reserve will go to back number 9135, exhibited by Ty Keaton Williams. We will now bring in class 41, main Angus late spring yearling heifers, born April to April of 2020. As we get out here for this division, it's been uh, so much fun. It's been some work. Um, it's taken probably a few years off my life that I've already taken a few years off. I've fitting cattle for as long as I have, but man, I'm, I've had fun. I've enjoyed this as much as you possibly could under, you know, when you have to so, e e analyze this kind of quality, uh, but I'm really happy when we get them back out here. I really am. Uh, the heifer that wins the first class, you know, that was a difficult class because there wasn't a bad one in that class to put towards the end. The top three were really close. There was a heifer that was third in that class that didn't fit that I liked as well as any of them, but I thought this heifer was the most complete within that class. I liked the udder that she was developing. I thought she was a female that got out and moved. I thought she was bold. She's not probably as, as fresh and just gives you the wow factor from the side as the two behind her, but certainly a functional female. When you talk about wow factor, the, the, the heifer out of the next class certainly has it. Uh, in terms of just freshness, uh, the, the way her neck is, is so lean and she has no chest. And the thing I like about this heifer's body is it's really free of condition. She has a nice udder set. To be that long and that powerfully constructed, she maintains so much strength and stability down her top. And she's perfectly designed out of her hip. She's got a really, really nice hind leg. Uh, heifer gets out and moves like I would say the heifer right behind her is set back just a tick more at her knee than the heifer right in front of her 
but the, this heifer here certainly is sound and just have so much going for her. The heifer out of that last class, uh, one that, you know, in that class, there was, there was so many different things you could do uh, and hard decisions to make, but uh, I, I'm really glad that I just ended up staying with the one that I thought had the fewest problems and put the most good things together because I think when we get her out here, I really like this female. I like the way she sat back at her knee. I like the way that she just, everything blends together. Uh, I have her that's got great swoop to her belly. She's probably just a tick deeper than the one in front of her, but she's also not got near the length of the heifer right in front of her. She's not quite as good in terms of her chest floor, but I think a really nice female there as well. Let's give these exhibitors a nice round of applause, and I'll go pick the two I like the best. Congratulations, champion in your junior heifer division. Goes back number 61024, Chase Harker of Hope, Indiana, with CELL Trixie 0105. As we bring this heifer over, certainly one that I appreciate in terms of her structural integrity, her flatness of joints, really a nice udder set on her, really fresh, just maybe not as powerfully designed as the heifer right behind her. We're going to go use the heifer out of your last class for your reserve division. Congratulations. And your reserve in that division goes to back number 61032, Kelton Arthur of Stillwater, Oklahoma, with Miss CCF Jetris H302. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We will now bring in your division champion and reserves. We'll be selecting a grand and reserve grand champion percentage Simmental heifer here at the Cattlemen's Congress. Well, for those of you just joining us in the stands, we are getting ready to do your grand drives in both of our rings right now, currently in ring one. We're going to be selecting your grand champion percentage heifer. And over in ring two, we are going to be selecting your grand champion main Angus female.
Looks like I can go first here. Um, I just, I won't talk a lot because uh, I know we got a whole nother breed and I'll save a lot of my comments uh, till the very end, but uh, just so humbled, uh, so thankful, uh, so blessed uh, to be out here and be able to give my opinion, evaluate these cattle, and I'm just so impressed. Uh, this is a wonderful event. It's a breed that is just uh, going so many places, and it's, it's truly an honor for me to be out here. Um, I won't talk a whole lot. Uh, I'll save, save a lot towards the end, but uh, let's give these exhibitors a, a round of applause because I think uh, these cattle are absolutely exceptional, and I had big expectations coming in, but I, they've exceeded it. Big round of applause. Bigger than that. All right. You can do different things, but you got to do what you think is right, and that's what we're going to do today. Uh, let's give these exhibitors our, uh, when I select your champion, let's give them an even bigger round of applause and even more excitement. Thank you to the breed for having me here today. Congratulations, your grand champion percentage Simmental heifer at the Cattlemen's Congress in your junior Simmental show goes to Chase Harker, Hope, Indiana with a CELL Trixie 0105H. Congratulations to Chase. And your reserve grand champion percentage Simmental heifer exhibited by Kellen Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma, with Miss CCF Jetris H302. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We'll now get started with your purebred Simmental Junior Show.
Well, congratulations. Your grand champion open main Angus female is exhibited by Kennedy Van Zandt to Perkins, Oklahoma with WEBC Hillary 01H. And your reserve champion, Mang Angus Female, goes to back number 9115, MKL Gwendolyn 92J, exhibited by Madison K. Loschke of Kingsdown, Kansas. Congratulations to all of those exhibitors. We will get started in Arena 2 in just a few minutes with your open maintainer female show.
Well, it looks like in just a few minutes we are going to get started with your purebred Simmental Junior Show over here in Ring 1. First class in will be class 26. Purebred Simmental heifers born May of 2021.
a really nice class to start off with. About the only thing we don't have going for us here is we probably got a bunch of May calves that haven't, this is their first show, and none of them are really wanting to cooperate. But uh, this heifer that comes in, you know, she was the one that wanted to cooperate the least when we first come in. But I think when you just break them down, um, this heifer is the best structured. She's a good balance. She has the most to her. I think she's just a nice place to start. The heifer in second, when you compare her to the heifer in third, they're different. This heifer is a lot longer fronted. She's a lot longer bodied. She's not as big bodied. She's not as heavy boned as that heifer. I'd like to set, see this heifer flex just a little bit off her, better off her front end and drop her down a little bit. But I like her youthfulness. I like her freshness for her age within this particular class. I really like this heifer when she came in too. She's moderate. She looks like a May heifer. Uh, when you get her out here, there's probably not just as much you know, natural dimension to that heifer. And when you combine that with the fact that she's, you know, not as long up through her front end, you question her gauge just a little bit and her skeletal maturity on down the road. But I like her structure over the heifers we have coming next. The red heifer replaces over the black heifer that comes next because I think she's sounder. She takes a longer, freer stride out of her front end and off her back end. A heifer that's not as attractive as the heifers on either side of her. You'd like to drop her down in her flank in relationship to her chest floor a little bit, but I think a sound functional female uh, there coming next. Young lady heifer that comes out next, really a powerful female, maybe the most dimensional, uh, heaviest boned, heaviest muscled heifer in the class. With that, I'd like to see her just a little more feminine, youthful about her head and throat, heifer that gets just a little straighter off of both ends. Heifer comes out next, female that's long fronted, female that's moderate in terms of her frame and gets around the ring pretty good, just needs a, a shot more to her uh, when you compare her to some of the ones in front of her. Young man's heifer that comes out next probably sets down with a little more bone off a more attractive hind leg than the one in front of him. A female that gets a little straighter out of her shoulder. And as we work on down the line, cattle that we probably just want to see a little looser in their spine and a little freer on the move. Well, congratulations over here in ring one. We have gotten started with your purebred Semental Junior Show. First place went to Sadie Robinson of Cushing, Oklahoma. With J. Saul, Relentless Mary, 1166 J. Second place goes to back number 60625, Brooklyn Bailey of Hydro, Oklahoma, with Helm Farms Joyride, J73. Third place in that class, exhibited by Campbell Belcher. Fourth place was exhibited by Gus Wyatt Smith. Fifth place, exhibited by Bristol Girds. Sixth place was exhibited by Abby Jones. And seventh by Zachary Buchanan. We're now bringing in class 27 purebred Semental heifers born April of 2021. Well, congratulations in your first class of maintainer females. First place goes to back number 9149, TRYB Jealous Love 809, exhibited by Koi Moonen. 
Second place went to back number 9148, Fires Black Betty 30JET, exhibited by Lauren Ost. And third place went to back number 9146, EACF Eden Strawberry, exhibited by Eden Kristen. We'll now bring in Class 43, Maintainer Spring Hever Calves, born in May of 2021. Well, congratulations in class 43, first place. So go to back number 9155, GASC, Linda Lee, 231J, exhibited by Jason Gallion. Second place, so go to back number 9484, Keynes Lydia ET, exhibited by Benjamin Burling. Third place, went to back number 9150, exhibited by Haley Dulch. Fourth place, went to back number 9154, exhibited by Mariah Martin. And fifth place, back number 9153, Lillian Christian. Now in the ring will be class 44, maintainer spring heifer calves born April of 2021.
I definitely think our young ones in the uh, Half Blood show are a little fresher and ready to behave a little better than the ones we as we're getting into our purebred show. And you know, it makes it a little more challenging uh, to catch them on first impression in terms of their structural design when they're flying one way and not wanting to go to the other way. And uh, but I think when you just analyze basic building and the way they're they're angled and the, the freedom that they have. I think these four heifers up here on top are the four soundest. And then there's differences within those four, but the heifer that's the highest quality and the most attractive in her design is the young lady's white flanked heifer. Really like the way this heifer's neck sets on the top side of her shoulder. A female that really sets in nice at her chest. She's got good angles and set to her knee. Really a nice belly design and swoop to this female. A nice level hip. You know, when she first came in, you couldn't really tell um, if she was staying within herself when she went away. But as she's kind of broke and, uh, and settled down, I think she's as good structured as any of them. Really another soft, pliable, structured heifer coming in next. This heifer I love in terms of her rib cage. A heifer that's got a lot of natural width and dimension out of the top side of her shoulder and in behind her. A heifer that when you compare her to the heifer right in front of her, just not as neat in terms of her throat and in terms of her chest. She's a little higher condition, not quite the belly swoop. But I think her, compared to the next two, I thought she was the soundest in terms of her structure. The heifer that comes out next has the most growth and power of the top four. A heifer that I think has some really good parts and pieces to her. She's tremendously bold down her top and out over her hip. When you get her out here and she wants to pull up just a little in her belly, a heifer that's not wanting to be quite as cooperative and coordinated when you set him into motion. But I thought there was enough to that heifer uh, to get over the heifer coming out next. The heifer coming out next I really like. She maybe has the the worst attitude today of all of them. And I feel bad because that young lady, when she can get her stuck, man, she does. That heifer has a nice balanced look. I think she's probably a little nicer up through her throat than the one right in front of her, but it just gets a little outpowered. The heifer that comes out next is, I think, freer moving in terms of her hawk design, and she's sleeker up through her front end than the young man's heifer that comes out next. I'd like to drop her down in terms of her belly a little bit, but I think she's more coordinated and, and more feminine than the young man's heifer we have next. The young man's heifer we have next on the standstill, you can move up quite a bit, but as you see as she travels out the ring, she just gets too rigid off of her back legs and too upright in terms of her pasterns. The heifer that comes out next probably is a little softer in terms of her pastern. She wants to get a little lower fronted and a little higher top when you get her out in the move, but a lot of performance and pounds in that heifer. Really good cattle all the way through. Great young people. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Congratulations over here in your maintainer ring. First place in class 44. Went to back number 9160. GCC put a spell on you. 455 JET exhibited by Griswold Cattle LLC of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 9157. NFLL Just a Splash 134J exhibited by Chloe Clark. Third place went to back number 9161 exhibited by Taylor Hawk. And fourth place, went to back number 9158, Clara Cross. Now bringing class 45, maintain your spring heifer calves, born March of 2021. Back over in the Simmental ring, we have the results. 
of Class 27 purebred Simmental heifers. First place was exhibited by 60643 Laramie Sasser of Edmond, Oklahoma, with VCL Sensation 251J. Second place in that class went to back number 60639 Jaron Gerds of West Point, Iowa, with B&K IVS Remedies Royalty 3207J. Third place in that class was exhibited by Levi Fagner of Star City, Indiana. Fourth place went to back number 60644, Emerson Tarr of Leroy, Illinois. Fifth place in that class went to Madison Frederick of Chadwick, Illinois. Sixth place exhibited by Joseph Martinez. Seventh place in that class exhibited by Tyler Norman. Now in ring one, we have class 28, purebred Simmental heifers born March of 2021. Well, congratulations in class 45. First place went to back number 9167, BBR Journey 693 JET, exhibited by Turner Longacre of Kellyville, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 9557, exhibited by Reese Richardson. Third place exhibited by Connor Yoakum. And fourth place exhibited by Jay Paxton. We'll now bring in your first and seconds and select a champion reserve spring ever calf over here in your maintainer ring.
really a good class here and you know it does kind of come down to these top two and there's advantages in both heifers and I think you just have to talk it. If the heifer in second moves better out of her front end, I like her the best standing still in terms of look and balance. The heifer that wins the class is the best on the move and the best in terms of her knee. She comes at you and leaves you the truest in terms of her structural design. Really a broody look, yet still maintains some balance and some profile. You know, a heifer that's probably got all the belly and all the flank that she needs at this stage of the game, but I'm not going to criticize one for being deep bodied. Uh, I, I think when this heifer you compare to the second, she simply outmoves her, and that's why she's going to be winning the class today. <clears throat> the heifer in second, who it's. She's fun to look at from the side, and you do a really nice job with her. She's so neat-necked, and she's fit and presented so well. She's really long-bodied. I like probably her, you know, her natural you know, swoop to her rib better than the one that starts. If I could get her to move just a little bit better out of her front end, you would win the class today. The heifer that comes out next is another female I like really well. I thought she was more feminine in her, in her design than the young man's heifer we have in fourth. She's a little more in at her shoulders. She's cleaner and flatter about her joints. She's a, little, she's a female that works out of a nice functional hip and hind leg. She just doesn't have the power and dimension of those two in front of her. But this is one if I owned, I'd be feeling pretty good about next year. I think there's a lot of the right parts and pieces there. I think that one will make a nice yearling. The heifer that comes out next has got a little more shoulder to her. She's not as balanced as the heifer right in front of her, but she is stouter. She's got more top and hip in her. She's pretty powerfully constructed. She's just not as feminine and eye-appealing up front. Kind of a big, stout, high-performing heifer that comes out next. We just need her to get out of her, ho out of her hock better. When you get her on the move, she gets up in her top, wants to drop in her pins, and gets a little more uncoordinated. When she stands there, the young man knows what he's doing and knows how to show her a lot of nice parts and pieces to her. Just need her to hold herself better together on the move. Next young man's heifer has some real eye appeal and balance to her. She's long-necked, long-bodied, a heifer that just gets a little higher flank than we'd like to see, a heifer that just maybe could flex, she too could flex a little better. Real big-bodied heifer that comes out next, heifer that's just a little plainer and a little farther along than we need her to be today. That's an advantage the young, the two heifers after that, they're a little bit more youthful. We just want to drop them down their flanks and their body a little bit. Well, congratulations in the maintainer ring. Your champion will go to back number 9167, exhibited by Turner Longacre, and reserve went to back number 9149, exhibited by Koi Moonen. We will now look for class 46 maintainer spring heifer calves born February of 2021. Back over here in the Semental ring, we have the results of class 28. First place went to back number 60667, Ty Column of Perkins, Oklahoma, with Campbell Co. Rosie 12J. Second place in that class went to back number 60662, Mackenzie DeBerry of Alton, Texas. Third place went to back number 60659, 
Brecken Shipman of Grandview, Texas. Fourth place went to back number 60668, Reed Hedrick. Fifth place exhibited by Trace Falkenstein. Sixth place exhibited by Hayes Rickstrew. Seventh place exhibited by Grace Richard. Now in ring one, we'll look for class 29, purebred Simmental heifers born March of 2021.
Congratulations in class 46. Over here in your maintainer ring, first place goes to back number 9180. GCC Hot Toddy 426 JET, exhibited by Maggie Griswold of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 9188. TJSC So Sweet 209 JET, exhibited by Hannah Schaub of Wapakoneta, Ohio. Third place went to back number 9493. RZ, RZC Just a Dream 216 JET, exhibited by Turner Longacre. Fourth place went to back number 9183, exhibited by Berkeley McKay. Fifth place, went to back number 9022, exhibited by Jenna Donaldson. And sixth place, back number 9185, exhibited by Abby Burkham. Now over here in your maintainer ring is class 47, maintainer spring heifer calves, born January of 2021. Well, congratulations in class 47. First place went to back number 9190, GCC Tea Time, 425 JET, exhibited by Griswold Cattle, LLC. And second place, back number 9189, PKL Maddie Kate, 214J, exhibited by Sean Hurtline. We'll now bring in the first and second and select champion reserve for Division Two.
over here in your her pure red Simmental ring, I think a really nice class. And you got the two biggest volumed heifers that were up here on top, uh, probably also the two nicest balanced heifers. I think there's just some subtle differences in the two once you get them out here. The heifer I like and I feel the most comfortable with on the move, though, is the red heifer we're going to go ahead and start with. Either the way she maintains her top and tail head, also the way she handles her hind leg. Granted, she is acting quite a bit better than the heifer in second two, but I do like her better, and I think when she moves, she keeps everything together. This is a really a, a female that's got a nice brood cow look to her that's got a lot of forerib, has got a lot of shape down her top and out her hip. Just a nice, complete female. A little more wow factor probably in the heifer we have in the second hole in terms of she's really attractive up through her front one third. She's really big bodied. But as you can see, you get her out here and she's just wanting to get a little outside of herself and a little uncoordinated off of her hind legs. I think a different day that heifer may move a little different, but I think that's where she needs to be today. A heifer that I kind of moved up uh, as we got down through here is the young lady heifer we have in third. A uh, heifer that's given up probably some body to some of the other heifers, but I think from a structural standpoint, uh, I thought she was set back at her knee probably a little better than some. I think a female that's pretty good in terms of her spine. She's got a little crest that can use just a little swoop to her belly. Young man's heifer comes out next, one that's really got a long extended spine. She's got a nice hind leg behind her. She just has a little more throat and a little more chest to her in relationship to her flank. The heifer that comes out next is a bigger scaled heifer, a heifer that's got some substance and some power to her. She too is maybe just needed to be a little more attractive up through her front end and go a little better off of her hind leg when you set that heifer into motion. The three heifers we coming, coming out next would like to change all three a little bit in terms of their structure, but really good quality females that the young people do an excellent job with. Well, congratulations over here in your maintainer ring. Your champion will go to Maggie Griswold, Stillwater, Oklahoma, with GCC Hot Toddy 426 JET. And reserve champion goes to TJSC So Sweet 209 JET. Back over here in the Simmental ring, we have the results from class 29. Purebred Simmental heifers first place went to back number 60677. Kathy Lehman of Shelby, Ohio with J. Saul Some Dream 1315J. Second place goes to back number 60682. Anna Bendledge. Third place in that class went to back number 60670. Leah Evans. Fourth place was exhibited by Lane White. Fifth place, Ty Kitsero. Sixth place went to Trey Ivey. Seventh place in that class, Jenna Donaldson. And eighth place in that class will go to Garrett Jones. Now coming into ring one will be class 30, purebred Simmental heifers, born March of 2021.
Congratulations over here in your maintainer ring. Class 48, first place went to Case Connolly. And class 49, first place went to Brock Cottrell and second to Gus Goodson. Really a good class here and uh, a really nice top pair up here on the end. And there's some differences in the two, uh, but the top three are the three best structured heifers within the class. Then I think once you get uh, those three up there, these two are just so much bigger volumed uh, and have so much more to them. And you get them out here, and I think this heifer has advantage, enough advantages over the heifer in second. Where I like her the most is when you get her out on the move, she's more relaxed in her spine. She's a little deeper in terms of her center body. There's a little more width and dimension to that heifer today. I think she's probably the truest today, and this sets down the most collected in terms, of, in terms of her movement. I don't think she's as cool looking as this heifer that we have in second. I think this heifer is going to make a very nice yearling. Once she gets a calf in her and it drops her top down and she gets a little more belly, she has all the rest of the parts. Uh, you just love the neck extension to her, the length of spine, the natural shape she has. She works off of a functional skeleton. When you analyze her going out there, she wants to bring her top up, and when she does that, her belly comes with it. Young man heifer, or young lady heifer we have coming out next, I told her that wasn't her fault. This heifer chose to be in heat and she got scared by something in the stands. This heifer doesn't have the look, the dimension of those two in front of her. But when you set the rest of these cattle into motion, this is the soundest structured one that's set the most further, furthest back at her knee. She gets out and travels. She's very comfortable on the move. She's relaxed in her spine. She's angular up through her shoulder. She just gets out powered. The young man's heifer comes out next. Uh, this heifer here is one of the biggest and most powerfully constructed heifers. This heifer, when she gets on the move, she wants to come apart a little bit in terms of her chest and drops in her pins. But this young man such a good does a, such a good job showing her. When he gets her set up, a heifer, that he gets balanced really nice from the side when you get her out on the move. He gets her up here as high as he can. When you get her out on the move, you just want to change the way she handles her pins and her top. The young man's heifer coming out next, really a powerfully constructed female in terms of her bone and foot size. A heifer that just gets more uncoordinated off of her hind leg as she goes. The young lady's red heifer, really a powerful dimensional heifer that's got some body. She gets a little straighter in her shoulder, a little plainer up through her front end. The, the heifer they have coming out next is really attractive. Just want to drop her down in her flank and secure her on her hind leg. The next two heifers, both, like we said, really nice females. Females that just need to be restructured a little bit.
Well, congratulations in Division Three of your maintainer show. Champion goes to back number 9199, Jay Saul Chilled Primo 0506H, exhibited by Brock Cottrell of Lawton, Oklahoma. And reserve champion went to back number 9012, MLCR Stylish Lady 7HET, exhibited by Case Conley of Sulphur, Oklahoma. We'll now look to bring in Class 50 maintainer early summer yearling heifers born May through June of 2020. Back over in the Simmental ring, we have the result of Class 30. First place went to Jade Beeson of Athens, Iowa with UDE Diamond 141J. Second place went to back number 60690. McKenna Richardson of Eureka, Kansas with UDE Kansas 37J. Third place went to back number 61095. Elizabeth Melton of Cumbie, Texas. Fourth place will go to back number 60796, Tyler Miller. Fifth place went to Brady Werner. Sixth place exhibited by Blakely Walter. Seventh, Cash Dale. Eighth place in that class, McCoy Landwehr. And ninth place goes to Brock Studer. We now have your first and second centering the ring to select your champion and reserve champion senior heifer calves.
Well, congratulations in class 50 maintainers. First place goes to back number 9206. Kane's Jana ET exhibited by Jackie Sleicher of Abilene, Kansas. Second place goes to back number 9204 exhibited by Carter Preston. Third place will go to 9205 exhibited by Helia Hassenbach. And fourth place goes to back number 9208 exhibited by Devin Frazier. Those will also be your summer yearling champion and reserves. We'll now bring in class 51, maintain your late spring yearling heifers born April of 2020. As we get over here for your division champion, I'm sure this is a large por portion of the show and uh, the quality has been absolutely outstanding. They've been a little different shapes and sizes. And like I said, the, the first few classes the cattle probably weren't as cooperative as our, as our first classes in our half-blood show, which makes it a little more difficult sometimes when you put your main priority on, in structure. Some of those cattle just read a little different when they're the first one in or this is the first time showing. But as you get out here and see them more and more times, it all kind of comes together. Uh, there's a lot of heifers out here that are in contention. Uh, that we're going to go down and talk about them. I really like this May. Um, I like this heifer. I think that uh, I'd like to see her not have to go first. I'd like to see her a little more broke. Uh, but I like so much about this heifer. I think she's really natural. I really like the angle she has to her structure. I think she's appropriate in terms of her body, in terms of her width and dimension. You know, today she's wanting to fight a little and it's making her want to get up a little in her top when you get her out here on the move. But I think that one's pretty special and I think has a really nice future. Heifer out of our next class, I think is one from the side view. Side view is as striking as any of them. And the way her neck sets on top of her shoulder, she's big and got a big swooping belly. She's long bodied, straighten her top and level her out of her hip. When you compare her to some of, the heifers, some of the heifers out here, she's not as powerfully constructed when you analyze her from behind. She's maybe also not quite as coordinated off of her hind leg as a couple of the other heifers as well. Some really unique parts to the heifer in third. To have that much belly and still have a nice neck that sets on top of her shoulder. A heifer that when you analyze her, she's got some levelness out over her hip. She's got a nice hind leg. She's got a little shoulder when she comes at you. Sometimes she wants to get just a little push on, she wants to push just a little on her outside. And, you know, I'd like to maybe trim her up just a little bit in her lower one third. But I think that one's got some awfully unique parts. Uh, when he gets her set up, you have to just love the Nelly to, the belly to neck ratio, and he does an awesome job. The red heifer coming next is one that intrigues me as well. A heifer that, you know, her color pattern is not as striking as some. A heifer, when you get out here, she's not the first one you're drawn to, but you start trying to pick holes in her, and it's pretty hard to do. I think a female that uh, does a lot of nice things in terms of structure and balance and volume, I don't think there's a big hole in that heifer. She just does a lot of nice things and puts a lot of nice things together. Then the heifer out of our last division, I think, uh, is one that's truly impressive today. Uh, to be, you know, this heifer is ready, but yet when you look where her chest floor is, it ties in nice. Her lower one-third, I think, is, is appropriate, and I like the way, you know, you read her from her navel back, it's cut up in there, I think very natural. A heifer that with that much power and dimension gets out here and hits her stride nicely. She's not the longest and freakiest necked one out here, but I think her neck ties high enough. I think she's really balanced from the side. Uh, just a very nice female. Really good seconds over here. I'm going to take one more look because I truly feel like you could go lots of ways here and not be wrong. But let's give these exhibitors a nice round of applause and we'll go out and pick the two today.
Well, congratulations over here in your maintainer ring. First place in class 51. Kane's Dana E.T. exhibited by Jenna Belt of Orange City, Iowa. Second place went to back number 9220 exhibited by Kendall Leonard. And third place went to back number 9217, Kendra Fulkerts. We're now bringing class 52 maintainer early spring yearling heifers born March of 2020. Back over in the Simmental ring, we have the results of your first division in our purebred show. Champion spring heifer calf went to back number 60692, Jade Beeson of Af of Athen, Iowa, with UDE Diamond 141J and Reserve. Is that the red one? I think it was the red one. And Reserve in that division goes to back number 60677, Kathy Lehman of Shelby, Ohio, with J. Saul, Some Dream, 1315J. We will now bring in Class 31 over here in Ring 1. Purebred Simmental Heifers born February of 2021. Well, congratulations in class 52. First place went to back number 9222, Keynes ABET, exhibited by Carly Sanders of Leesburg, Ohio. Second place went to back number 9223, MWSN Queen 017H, exhibited by Mackenzie Mawson. Third place will go to back number 9226, 
GCC Bur Bourbon Bay 501H, exhibited by Macy Cullum. In fourth place, went to back number 9224, exhibited by Brittany Blankenship. We'll now bring in class 43. This will be your final class of maintainer females. These are junior yearling heifers born January to February of 2020.
Well, congratulations in Class 53. First place goes to CLAC Diamond 410H, exhibited by Hallie Recker of Hopkinton, Iowa. Second place goes to back number 9227, LADD Hip Hop 027H, exhibited by Kirsten Besner. And third place goes to back number 9361, exhibited by Mercedes Faree. We'll now bring in your first and seconds and select a champion reserve out of Division 5. Another really good class, a lot of quality up here on top. And, you know, as you get these three up here, I think they're the most complete and fault-free. But each and one of them a little different, too. Uh, I think the heifer that we start with, I feel the most comfortable with because she combines the things that I like about the heifers in second and third. I think she's the most fault-free and the most complete. I think when you get her out here on the side, I think she's as balanced as any. I think she's kind of right in the middle in terms of volume. I like her appropriate depth of body. I like the female when you get her out. She hits her stride when you set her into motion. She's maybe like a little tighter in her loin. Uh, a, little, could, a little more hair there could help. But I think that heifer puts the most good things together into the most collected stride, a balanced package. And I think she's very appropriate in where she is um, in terms of body depth, uh, within this particular class. I think you can go either way here because I think these heifers um, are probably the two outliers within the top three. This heifer is extremely big boned and big footed. Uh, she's got tremendous body. You know, as we talk to another heifer in here, she's got all the more belly that she needs. Uh, a heifer that when he gets her set up has some balance. You know, this heifer is big footed, but you know, you'd like to maybe change the way she handles her feet just a little bit and the way she applies uh, her weight and proportionality when she gets out and moves. But I think when this heifer is set up, she's balanced, a lot of powerfulness within this particular heifer. Maybe this heifer is as true in terms of just feet placement and planning as any of our top three. This heifer is extremely attractive up front. Up front. She's really, really long bodied. She's given up. Uh, some width and some depth today to those two in front of her. But I think if this heifer doesn't get too long and bodies down, she'll give the two in front of her all she wants. But today doesn't have the width, doesn't have the depth, and doesn't have the strength right down the middle of her back. This heifer here has some nice parts and pieces. She just comes to us uh, in some pieces today. She's a little ganglier in the way she's designed. But she has, when he gets her set up, she has some parts. She's nice in terms of her shoulder design. She's got some body. I'd like to change her out of her hip. She's a little lower in terms of her pin placement. A heifer, when she gets on the move today, is getting a little uncoordinated. I know some of it is due to uh, how she's acting. I think that heifer, more shows under her belt, is definitely going to do her some good. The young lady that comes out next, a heifer that is really attractive at the stand, really long-bodied and bold over her top, just needs more depth to her center rib of her body, a heifer that gets a little more throat and a little more chest to her. The young man's heifer we have coming out next has that depth of body advantage over that heifer right in front of him. I want to change this heifer a little bit in the way when you watch her go away from you and come at you, just want her to be a little truer. But the young man does a nice job with her. When he gets her parked, she's got some, an attractive set to her neck and good belly depth. The young man's heifer we have coming out next is one that on the stand could place higher, but on the move, she is where she has to be because of her hip and hind leg. And as we get on down there, a few more just structural problems that keep those cattle from rising up any higher.
Well, congratulations. Your Division 5 champion goes to back number 9228, CLAC Diamond 410H, exhibited by Hallie Recker of Hopkinton, Iowa. And reserve in that division goes to back number 9222, Canes ABET, exhibited by Carly Sanders of Leesburg, Ohio. At this time in ring two, we are going to bring in your division champion and reserves. We'll be selecting a grand and reserve grand champion, maintain your female.
really another nice class of females here. And the two heifers we're going to have here at the end come to the top pair, I think are the two that most effectively combined balance and some power and some dimension into a fl flexible skeleton. To me, it comes down to there's just a bit more attractiveness up front to the heifer we start with in terms of her throat and chest. She's also probably the more powerfully constructed as you analyze her from behind. The first time I saw this heifer come in, she was wanting to go a little fast. And I'm not saying she doesn't want to plant a little on the outside of her skeleton, but she's set back at her knee. She's correctly structured from her stifle to her hock and her hock down to the ground. Just gives you an attractive maternal look. She's good in her top line and over her hip. I really like the heifer in second. Yes, she has a little bit of front end to her, but I think this is a female that's really loose in her spine. She gives me a nice brood cow look. She's got some correctness as you analyze her through her skeleton, just not as attractive and powerful as the heifer we start with. There's definitely more power in the heifer in third. A uh, heifer that when you get her out here just gets a little plainer up through her front end, a little bolder in her shoulder, a little coarser about her joints, and sometimes that's going to come with a bit more power. But I like that heifer's power over the heifer that comes out next. Young man's heifer that comes out next is a long fronted female that's got some upper rib shape. Just need to drop her down in her flank and handle her hind leg just a bit more coordination. The heifer that comes out next is deeper bodied, but she probably has less coordination off of her hind leg than that heifer right in front of her. The young man's heifer that comes out next is a big footed, long bodied level hip heifer, one that needs to be dropped down just a tick in terms of her fore rib, in terms of her flank. The red heifer coming out next probably has that advantage in terms of depth, but she's, she's a little choppier when you get her out on the move than young ladies heifer. We just like to give a little more body and, and length the stride too.
Congratulations, your grand champion, maintainer female here at the Cattlemen's Congress. Back number 9228, CLAC Diamond 410H, exhibited by Hallie Wrecker of Hopkinton, Iowa. And your champ reserve champion goes to back number 9180 GCC Hot Toddy 426 JET exhibited by Maggie Griswold of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We are going to get started with your key show in just a few moments over here in ring two.
the one good thing it took, it did by taking this long is, you know, as you analyze these cattle in terms of completeness and structure, the longer you work this, this trio of heifers, I thought the easier this heifer came, came to the top. I thought she was the most complete in terms of her movement when you get her out here. A heifer that you really like, her freshness and her attractiveness, her appropriateness in terms of her size, her depth. I think a female that's just kind of right where she needs to be for her age. When you compare her to the heifer in second, she's got more width of chest, she's got more forerib. As you get on top of the two heifers, she's got more dimension down her top and out over her hip. I think this heifer puts the most good things together into the most complete package. The heifer in second, I really, really like in terms of her foot placement as well. I like her freshness and the way her neck ties out of the top of her shoulder. She does get a little straighter in the angle to her knee. She doesn't have as much depth as the heifer on either side of her. But when you compare this heifer to the heifer in third, I like the way her neck sets a little higher on the top of her shoulder. I think she's more collected off of her hind leg as you get her on the motion. But I think a female that follows the type and kind of our class winner. The heifer that we, when you see her on the stand that's the most impressive is the baldy heifer here. A heifer that's really dimensional and bold, a heifer that's got a lot of width, width the chest, a lot of rib shape to her. And when on the stand, her neck looks like the tie is pretty high. When you get her on the move, she gets lower in her shoulder, and she's the least collected off of her hind leg once you set the cattle into motion. But I think three really nice females. A young man's heifer we have coming out next, a female that I really like in terms of her body shape and her length and design. I think a heifer that's just not quite as tr attractive and put together as those heifers right in front of her. She's a little notch bigger in terms of her kind, but I like the fluidness in terms of her movement and her power over the heifer we have right behind her. The heifer we have behind her is one that is fresh and is sound, just needs a little bit more body shape to compete with those in front of her. The heifer we have coming out next, the young man does a nice job and she's really attractive. A heifer that just needs to have a little more body and a little more performance today. The young man's heifer we have coming out next is one that's attractive. A heifer that's got some boldness, just need to free her up a little bit in terms of her movement. As we get on down the line, more of the same where they're really good cattle and the young people do a nice job. Cattle that just need to be a little freer in terms of their movement or balance a little better when you compare to the rest of the females in the class. Well, congratulations in class 33, purebred Simmental heifers. First place goes to back number 60734, Cameron Clapp with STCC TFG Rory 005J. Second place in that class will go to back number 61093, Aubrey Neal of Osgood, Indiana. Third place went to back number 60726, Sarah Sullivan. Fourth place goes to back number 60732, Jaron Gerds. Fifth place was exhibited by Carly McCracken. Sixth place exhibited by Blake Piolet. Seventh place was exhibited by Lane Fincher. Eighth place in that class exhibited by John Sand. We are now going to bring in all of your first and seconds and select a champion reserve junior heifer calf.
as we get into this division, I think the quality was deep. I don't know that each and every class, it, it was so competitive, but I don't know if each and every one had the one that was just the, this, we're here, we're the winner easy, there's nothing you can change about me. Uh, but I think as you sort through the cattle, we used the most complete one in each and every class. I think the one that put the most good thing together maybe wasn't the outlier in each and every class in terms of the freakiest front or the deepest body. Find the cattle that were good in their structure and the cattle that were good and appropriate in terms of their body design and shape and depth. Uh, I, I'm happy with the cattle we have out here. The young lady Sefer out of our first, first class, I think is one is really bold and opened up. She's wide chested. She's extremely powerfully designed down her top and out over her hip. A female that when you get her out and she hits her stride nice on the move. We talked about she could be a little stronger over her loin, but I think that's a female that with that much power still moves good, still balances up nice. Young man Sefer out of the second class is one that I appreciate for when you get her stopped. She's really long necked. She's got a really bold rib cage in her. You get her back out, or she's getting a little tired. She's wanting her neck's not wanting to come quite as high out of her shoulder. She's wanting to roll just a little bit out of her front end. But I still think that's one that has a lot of good to her. The Heifer out of our last class, a very, very good competitive class. Some tough decisions to make within this class. But I really appreciate this effort, her freshness. I think a female is very appropriate in terms of her size and her dimensions out here. A heifer that's, I, when you get her out here, she's set back at her knee. She's big bodied. A female has got some foot size and bone. She can maybe walk just a little wider at her hocks, but that's something that's going to come with some skeletal age and maturity. Really a nice set of seconds that are in contention over here as well. I'm going to go out and show you the two that I like the best today, and we'll move on with the show. Let's give them a nice round of applause for an awesome set. Congratulations, your champion junior heifer calf goes to back number 60734, Cameron Clapp with STCC TFG Rory 005J. And congratulations, the reserve champion in that division goes to back number 60699, Josie Phillips of Maysville, Kentucky, with KMEM, -E She's a Jewel, 106J. Congratulations to all of those exhibitors. We'll now go into your next division here in your purebred Simmental ring. We'll be looking for class 34 purebred Simmies, born November, December of 2020. That binder, I think it's on the back side of the.
Well, I do believe we're about ready to get started over here in your key ring. We'll be getting started with Class 1 Key Heifers, born May, June of 2021. Really a nice class to start off our fall division. I think these two heifers come to the top as they're both big volumed and they're both very nicely balanced. But the heifer that starts the class out moves the heifer in second. She's truer off of both ends when you get her out and set her into motion and takes the longest, most attractive or most appropriate stride when you set him into motion. She's a notch bigger, but with that, she's stout and dimensional all the way through. The heifer in second, when you get her on the balance, it maybe has just a little bit more uh, balance in her underline from her forehead back to her flank. As she is a little more moderate, she's a little deeper in terms of her depth. But the heifer, when you get her out on the move, she wants to roll just a little up bit out of her front and shorten up in her stride off her back end. But that's pretty critical on a very high quality, well presented, well shown female. The heifer comes out next, the red heifer. She's not as attractive and eye appealing as the black heifer behind her, but she is sounder off of her hip and hind leg, off of a bigger foot and more flexible skeleton. That heifer that comes out next and forth is one that when she's standing still, this young lady is a very good showman. She gets her parked and she gives you a nice look. When you get her on the move, you just want to get re relax her in her top, drop her turn it down in terms of her belly a bit. The two heifers we have coming out next, both good, good females that the young people do a nice job with. The young lady's heifer, I think, is sounder and more dimensional than the young man's heifer that we conclude the class with. Well, congratulations over here in your Simmental ring. Results of class 34. First place goes to back number 61108, Mackenzie Neal of New Lebanon, Ohio, with Ms. Harmony 412H. Second place went to back number 60743, Brooklyn Bailey of Hydro, Oklahoma. Third place went to back number 60742, Shelby Spradlin of Blair, Oklahoma. Fourth place exhibited by Madison Moore. Fifth place exhibited by Mackenzie Taylor. And sixth to Blake Steely. We'll now look for class 35 here in ring one. Currently in ring two, we are getting started with your key female show. Starting with class one, key heifers born May, June of 2021. We are excited to welcome your judge this afternoon, Mr. Will Corr of Hillsboro, Ohio. He lives there with his wife, Lauren, and son, Stokely. He's the owner and operator of Core Cattle. He's originally from Selma, North Carolina. He attended Blackhawk East, where he was a part of the two-time national champion team that went on to West, then went on to Western Illinois University. He has had the privilege of judging several shows on the national and state level. For those of you sitting in the stands, please put your hands together and welcome our judge today, Mr. Will Corr.
Well, congratulations in Class 1 and your first division over here in your key show. Your champion summer heifer calf goes to back number 5181, DJ Houdat, Sultry Queen, 110ET, exhibited by Abby Emerson of Oklahoma. And reserve in that division will go to back number 5182, FRA Ella 65J, exhibited by Hadley Brown. Third place in that class goes to back number 5180, exhibited by Lucille Claire Reich. And fourth place goes to back number 5177, exhibited by Kendia Smith. We'll now bring in class 2A, key females born April of 2021.
Well, it is always a, an honor and a privilege to get asked to judge shows, but uh, those of you that are always thinking, I wish I could judge shows, you ought to try judging a class like this where there's none of the cattle that you dislike, there's none of the cattle that you want to put down, and all the cattle you just really, really appreciate, and you just have to sort out and sub add, this, add the positives, subtract the negatives, and try to come to the, the placement that best suits you. And I think as we do that, as we get it down, these are the two that I think are the most complete, and I think there's just some subtle differences. The difference that I like between the heifer in first over the heifer in second is when you get the cattle out and set them into motion, even though this heifer is not as long fronted, she's better and she's higher tiring at the top of her shoulders. The heifer in second wants to get a little high right behind her shoulders. This heifer is also a bit more dimensional from the ground up and the rear forward. She's really, truly just got it so much up high. She's so deep and so powerful out over her hip and hind leg. I would like to lengthen out her front end just a little bit. But I think that heifer, when you get the cattle on the park, I think she gives you a great look. She's dimensional, and I think when you get her out on the travel, she hits her stride and has some flexibility. I just kept working this heifer up the longer we were out here. Like I said, when you get her on the move, when, as you an analyze her and watch her come out of the ring, she gets a little low in her shoulder and a little high right behind her shoulders. But I like this heifer's cleanness and flatness of joints. I think she's appropriately sized. I think she's fresh in her condition. I like her underline from her navel back to her flank a little better than the heifer that we start. I just don't think there's quite as much power and dimension, and she gets a little high right there behind her shoulders. I think you can do different things with these next three. I think there's a, but I thought this heifer was the soundest when you got him on the move. <clears throat> When you compare her to the heifer right behind her, she's not as attractive at the stand. She's not as extended. She's not as, ex as pretty as the heifer right behind her. When you watch these two cattle go, this heifer travels better off of her hind leg and takes a longer, freer stride than the heifer that comes out right behind her. When they're on the park, this heifer here competes with those two up front. A uh, heifer that you really like her length and extension up through her front end. I like the length that she has from the point of her shoulder back to her pins. Just want to make her more collected and more coordinated off of her hind leg as she goes. The young man's heifer probably takes just a notch longer stride than that one in front of him. This heifer just doesn't have the same balance as the cattle we have in front of him. When you get her on the stop and and analyze the way her neck ties out of her shoulder. She's not quite as sleek. She's not got as much uniformity from her forward back to her flank. For a female though that is very nicely presented, really well shown. I just don't know that she's got quite the pizzazz of the heifers we have in front of her. The young man's heifer we have coming out next, I love her body depth. A uh, female that I really like in terms of her looseness of spine. Where I want to change her is when you get her out in the move. She wants to roll off of both ends. And I like to see her just a bit more attractive up through her front one third. The heifer that comes out next has some wowy pieces about her. She's long. She's really attractive up through her front end. And within this class, you'd like to just soften her down. I'd like to see her a bit more coordinated. And then the young man that comes out next picked the wrong class to be in today. A uh, young man, just a nice heifer. And you've done a nice job. But... Uh, the heifers that were in this class with you today are, are really elite and, and uh, we wish you the best of luck on down the road. Let's give those exhibitors a round of applause. I had my work cut out for me there.
another really nice class of senior heifer calves over here. And although the one that wins isn't the biggest and the highest performing, I just think she's the best. She puts the most complete things into the most eye appealing package. She's the soundest in terms of her structure. I really like her freshness when you get her up through her front end. And when you get her out on the move, she's certainly the one that pleases me the best. I think it's close between second and third. I thought the heifer in second was a longer bodied female that was more relaxed in terms of her top and maintained her hip more level when set into motion. She's got a little more throat than the heifer in third, but she's also cleaner about her chest. The heifer in third's bigger body than that one in front of her, but she's almost a little too full today and not wanting to operate the way we want her to. She's getting up in her back and getting a little outside of herself. The young lady's heifer that comes out next is one that's got some nice parts and pieces to her. A really a big topped heifer that's long fronted. like to drop her down in her rib cage just a little bit. The young man's heifer coming out next is deep bodied. She gets a little lower when her neck ties into her shoulder, a little straighter, a little choppier on the move, but there's just so much more volume in that heifer than the young lady's effort that we conclude the class with, a nice fresh effort that just needs more tour today. Well, congratulations in the Simmental ring. We have the results of class 36 purebred Simmental heifers. First place goes to back number 60769 Eli Mundy of Speedwell, Tennessee with WHF Andy 368H. Second place will go to back number 60763 Jordan Stevens of Ewing, Kentucky, with SBC. She's a classic 8, 1, 5, H. Third place in that class went to Cade Stuckley. Fourth place, Kylie Evans. Fifth place in that class, Wyatt DeBerry. And sixth place in that class goes to Pacey Balcom. We're now going to bring in your first and seconds. We'll be selecting a senior heifer calf champion and reserve. Back over in the key ring, we have the results of Class 2A, Key Heifers born April of 2021. First place went to back number 5193, Jay Saul, who's that 1081JET, exhibited by Maddie Dean. Second place in that class went to back number 5198, CMAC Core Style ET, exhibited by Cheyenne Bennett. Third place was exhibited by Tucker Piquet. Fourth place in that class was exhibited by Hunter Perrier. Fifth place went to Landry Wernock. Sixth place in that class exhibited by Drew McCullough. Seventh place exhibited by Maddie Smith. Eighth place went to Madison Ory. Ninth place, Craig in Bristol. Tenth place in that class, Riley Mays. And eleventh, Katie Ruckman. Now in ring two, we have class 2B, Key Heifers born March of 2021. As we get out here for your fall division, I think it's been as strong as any division we've had. Uh, a lot of times you don't quite expect that in each and every breed, but uh, this particular breed, that's been the case today. The young ladies have her out of our first class is probably the stretchiest, highest performing female. I really like this heifer when you get her out on the move. I like her in terms of her neck extension and power. When you get her out here, these three on the side, she maybe doesn't have the depth of rear rib and flank in relationship to her chest and maybe doesn't have the same balance as the two behind her. But I think as that heifer gets farther along in calf, that's going to come. And I think this heifer's structure is going to keep her in the ball game. The heifer out of the next class is one that came out of the class that uh, there was, I don't know, I think there was 10 in there and nine of them were really, really good. This heifer, I wish her neck tied just a little higher out of her shoulder, but you get past that, 
This heifer's got a lot of good to her. When they're on the park, she balances really, really nice. She's very dimensional. When you get her out on the move, she hits her stride. I think she just puts a lot of nice things together. If I was going to change her, I'd like to lengthen her neck and have it tie just a bit higher. That's an advantage that comes with the heifer that comes out next. She is really attractive and really fresh up through her front end, but it's a little, ni it's a little easier. She's not carrying quite the power and dimension of those two heifers in front of her. I do like this heifer in terms of her structure and freshness and design. She's just given up quite a bit of power and overall dimension with, to the two in front of her. A couple of seconds over here, they're certainly in contention. Let's give these exhibitors a nice round of applause and we'll go pick her two like the best today. Congratulations, your champion senior heifer calf will go to Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa, with J. Saul's stunning rose, 0504H. And reserve in that division goes to back number 60759, Jordan Teets of Lost River, West Virginia. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We'll now bring in class 37, purebred Simmental heifers born June to July of 2020. As we get into your first class of your summer born females, the heifer that we're going to go ahead and start with just kind of outpowers the other two heifers in the class. I know she's not just perfect in the way that she moves, but she's the best balance and the most dimensional all the way through. When you get her parked, she's definitely got the most symmetrical view from the side. I think she just has too many advantages not to start with within this particular class. If it's going to get closer, it gets closer between the ones in second and third because the heifer in third is more feminine in her design. But I think the stoutness advantage and dimensional advantage goes to the young man's heifer that we put in second. The young lady does a really nice job at this heifer in third. Today she just gets a little outpowered and dimensioned when she compared to the two other heifers in the class. Congratulations in class 37. First place will go to back number 60779. Nolan Goring with, of Random Lake, Wisconsin with KDP, Ms. Hoya Junebug. 
Second place goes to back number 60775, Hunter Norman. And third place goes to back number 60777, Anna White. We'll now bring in Class 38, Purebred Simmental Heifers, born May of 2020.
Over here on your Simital side in your intermediate division, just two Mays here, but I think a heifer that starts to class that's very nice and very attractive, very fresh in her condition. You can't make one much more attractive from the side. Very feminine and elegant up through her front one third. I really like the length that she has of spine, yet she maintains a lot of strength and stability down her top. A heifer that's got enough width as you analyze her down her top. She's got enough rib shape. She's not the deepest one in the world, and that's an advantage that goes to the heifer in second. But I think this heifer, as, as she continues to mature and her calf drops, she's got a lot of nice parts and pieces to her. The young man's heifer, like we said, is a little deeper in terms of her center body, a heifer that you have to appreciate. He does a really nice job with in terms of, in terms of getting her stuck. A heifer who doesn't balance up quite as nicely in her chest floor in terms of her rear flank, a heifer that doesn't get out and hit her stride quite as well as the heifer we start with, particularly off of her hip and hind leg. Well, congratulations over here in ring one. We have the results of class 38. First place went to Anna White of Grandview, Texas. And second place went to Bentley Hill of Ada, Oklahoma. Well, congratulations in your second division over here in your key female show. Your champion goes to back number 5210, HF Hudat Fox, ET exhibited by Caitlin Skiles. And reserve champion goes to back number 5215, exhibited by Kara Cummings. We will now bring in class 3A, Kianina Heifers, born February of 2021. As we get out here for your intermediate division champion, not as many numbers, but definitely good cattle within this division. I do think it comes down to our two class winners. I think they're the two highest quality females. They're very dissimilar in terms of their type and kind. The heifer up front is definitely the stoutest, deepest of the two. A female that you appreciate for that power she has in her top line. A heifer that's got so much rib shape and very powerfully constructed out of her hip. The young lady heifer that comes out in our second class, very elegant and fresh in terms of her overall design. Heifer with the two is probably a tick sounder. She is, she's a tick straighter in her shoulder, but she, when you get her out on travel, she is the soundest of the two, particularly off of her hip and hind leg. I like this heifer's freshness. I like her hind leg movement and just the, the functionality she has. We could drop her down in terms of her body and make, make her a tick more moderate, but I like her of the pair today. She's gonna be your division champion and the young man's bigger bodied heifer that doesn't quite get around as well is gonna be reserved. Well, congratulations over here in your Simmental ring. Your champion intermediate heifer will go to back number 60787, exhibited by Anna White with KCC1SWC, Heavenly 26H. And reserve in that division goes to back number 6077, Nolan Goring with KDP Miss Hoya Junebug. Now in ring one, we are going to bring in your next class, Next class will be class 39, purebred Simmental heifers born April of 2020.
really a good class here. I think a, a class of uh, females that are just very impressive in terms of their volume cattle that are good in terms of their size. And what I really appreciate is how many of these females um, are, are far along in terms of gestation. These people have done a nice job getting these cattle bred. Uh, what it comes down to up here on top is a little bit of freshness, a little terms of balance, and a little structure. The heifer that went, I think, I thought it was a top pair and then a third, but uh, the farther it got, I really think this heifer that wins does so uh, with command. This heifer is not only the best in terms of her structure, uh, she's the squarest and the truest and stays the most within herself. She's huge footed and really laid back at her shoulder. She's very fresh in terms of her condition. I just like a great deal about this female. The heifer that comes out next, uh, when she came in, she was my easy second. I love her length of neck. I love her length of spine. When she gets out and travels, she wants to get a little outside herself as she comes at you. She wants to push a little out there. She doesn't have quite the dimension of the heifer we start with, but I think another nice female. The young man's female coming next has a little chest and has a little throat to her, but I think when you compare to some of the cattle on down the line, she's really a broody, sound female. It has a lot of rib shape and a lot of dimension. Just like to make her a bit more attractive. The young man's heifer is another one that when she first came in, I really liked. I thought she was really square and bold up high. She gets out on the move and she just gets a little more restricted off of her hind leg and down into her rear pastern. The same can be said for the young lady heifer that comes out next. I like to see her move just a little bit nicer, but I don't think she's as powerful and deep in terms of her body as the heifer in front of her. I appreciate another female that uh, the young lady's got and far along in gestation, you, she has an advantage in freshness to some of the other heifers out here. When you get her out here and, turn, and set her into motion, female that gets a little weaker in her loin, that heifer that comes out next, really a wide constructed female, maybe is carrying a little bit more condition, a little finer in terms of her bone and foot size. And the young man's heifer that comes out next, just need her to get around the ring with a bit more ease.
Well, congratulations in Class 3A over in the key ring. Your first place will go to back number 5217, T-S-S-C-C-R-K-S, who's looking now, E-T, exhibited by Samantha Podsmick. Second place in that class went to back number 5222, J-Sol, T-S-C-C, DAP Prime 100, J-E-T, exhibited by Calder Cunningham. Third place went to back number 5. 5225, exhibited by Marley Reese. Fourth place in that class, exhibited by Ad Addison Ruggeman. Fifth place in that class will go to back number 5365, Ainsley Lee Mundrone of Missouri. And sixth place in that class goes back number 5220, exhibited by Campbell Thomas. Now in ring two, we are going to bring in class 3B, key females, born January of 2021. Back in the Simmental ring, we have the results from class 39, purebred Simmental heifers born April of 2020. First place went to back number 60805, Montana Holzmeyer of Harrod, Ohio, with TJSC knockout 401H. Second place in that class was exhibited by Harper Hilms of Fort Cobb, Oklahoma, with HSC SSTF Hollywood 027H. Third place in that class exhibited by Braden Callis of Minco, Oklahoma with BKC Glitter. Fourth place was exhibited by Kale Robinson. Fifth place was exhibited by Laramie Sasser. Sixth place went to Courtney Keaton. Seventh place in that class, TJ Mills. And eighth place, Travis Clem. Now currently in ring one, we have class 40 purebred Simmental heifers born March of 2020.
Congratulations in Class 3B, Key Heifers, born January of 2021. First place goes to back number 5234, exhibited by Parker William Dix. Second place will go to back number 5236, exhibited by Piper Goodson. Third place went to back number 5240, exhibited by J.C. Wolfinger. Fourth place went to back number 5231, exhibited by Sean Hurtline. Fifth place exhibited by Sutton Zello. And sixth place in that class was exhibited by Josie Wilkins. Seventh place, Andrew Chiplett. Now coming into ring two, we'll bring in all of your first and seconds to select a champion reserve out of your early junior heifer calf division. Another class that just blows you away on this side and there's so much quality and they come in different shapes and sizes and you know this class I don't think there's one that's uh, like a lot of times it says if you don't use me you're absolutely crazy but I think as you continue to work the cattle and break them down and find the cattle that have the fewest faults and that are most complete this young lady's heifer we're going to go ahead and start with I think is the one that does that. For a heifer that is that, attra that long and that stout I still think she's probably as good in terms of her foot placement on the move as any we have out here. And for a female that's got that size and that length, a female that still maintains a lot of strength and stability down her top, I think a female is balanced in her underline from her forehead back to her flank. She's not as deep as the heifer in second, but I do think she travels with a little more freedom and ease, a little more comfortability off of her front end than the heifer we have in second. The heifer we have in second, I like the way she's designed in her lo loin and tail head better than the heifer we start with. I th really like the robust rib shape and dimension that she has to her. Where I want to change her is when you get her out and set her into motion. I just want to make her a little more comfortable. When she gets out, she wants to roll a little bit off, roll out of her front end, and that kind of affects her balance when you get that heifer out on the move. When she gets her stop, she does a tremendous job. That heifer's balance and power and dimension is what keeps her in second. The heifer that comes out next probably is a little sounder off of her front end than the one that comes out next. Whereas this heifer probably doesn't compete with the one in front of her is in terms of her balance when she get them stopped. She's a little deeper in her chest floor as in relationship to her flank. A female has just not got quite the length and eye appeal of those two heifers right in front of her. The heifer that does have a lot of length and eye appeal is the heifer that comes out fourth. And there's times when I had this heifer. Uh, definitely competing up towards the top, but when you have three that are that good, this heifer, uh, although I like things about her, she becomes the least dimensional of those female. I'd like to see more forerib and more uh, width and dimension as that heifer comes and goes, but I like her attractiveness and freshness. This young lady does a nice, nice job. 
The young man's heifer that comes out next is one that does a lot of good things as well. She's got a really good hind leg heifer. As you analyze her and get her parked, she's got some freshness and she's got some balance. She doesn't have quite the dimension either of the heifers that we have up on top. A young man, though, a very nicely presented female that he does a good job showing. Young lady's heifer that comes out next, real powerful. Big top, big hip in her. She doesn't balance up quite as nicely as that one right in front of her. Doesn't handle hind leg with quite as much coordination as the one right in front of her. Really a wide made female coming out next that, that is pretty big footed and pretty flexible. She's just not quite as fresh in terms of her, of her condition and overall outline when you get her out here and compare her with some of that power up on top. As we get on down the class, really, really good females. Uh, that got some shape and some look to them. Maybe they just didn't get around the ring with as much freedom and ease as some of the heifers we had right up on top. Congratulations in your key ring. Results of class four. First place went to back number 5244. Hudash Yachty 100HET exhibited by Reagan, Reagan Benneker. And second place went to back number 5241 exhibited by Cody Landers. We'll now bring in class 5A. Key heifers born September, October of 2020. Back over in the seven tall ring, the results of class 40. First place went to back number 60820, Megan Brown of Greenville, Texas, with KCC1 SWC Harmony 847H. Second place was exhibited by Maggie Griswold of Stillwater, Oklahoma, with 4B Miss Honeybuns 50H. Third place in that class was exhibited by Maddie Dorsler of Green Forks, Indiana, with J. Saul Mary's Copa 0353H. Fourth place was exhibited by Laura Carpenter of Wamigo, Kansas, with NIKL High on Love 055H. Fifth place exhibited by Nolan Hogue. Sixth place was exhibited by Darby Darbon. Seventh place was exhibited by Sadie Robinson. Eighth place was exhibited by Delaney Meredith. Ninth place in that class exhibited by Lainey Sasser. And 10th place exhibited by Wyatt Sterling. Now in ring one, we have class 41, your final class here in your junior heifer division. Congratulations over here in the key ring. Results of class 5A. First place was exhibited by Samantha Podsmick. Now we'll bring in class 5B. This will be your final class before our senior heifer calf division.
Congratulations in Class 5B. First place goes to Macy Weems. But I'll bring in those first and seconds and select the champion reserve senior heifer calf. And congratulations over here in your key ring. Your senior, your senior heifer calf champion goes to back number 5246. SLIK Jalen's Pride 33H exhibited by Samantha Podsmick. And reserve in that division goes to back number 5247. PCC Houdat Raptor 205H exhibited by Macy Weems. We'll now look for class 7 key females born May of 2020. Wow, what a way to round out this division. Uh, really an impressive set. Uh, I think this top pair is really, really good, but the one we start with, I think, is uh, just an impressive creature. I think when you have one that's this big-legged and this big-footed and this sound and still have that kind of mass and power when she comes and goes and has that much rib shape and volume, and she does so in just a, an elegant, uh, loose-made brood cow kind of a way. I think uh, she's one that you look at and say if we all had a pasture full of those, we'd all know what we were doing. The heifer that comes out next, you have to appreciate her freshness. A female that is very far along in terms of gestation. She's been fed perfectly. She's fit very nice. I love her balance from the side. I love the way her neck ties out of a very flat shoulder. She's very good in terms of her spine, and she's very long out over her front end. There's just not as much of her when you compare her to that heifer right in front of her at the ground or up high. But, boy, that's a really nice one that does a lot of good things. I think you can do different things in the next pair. I'm going to go ahead and use the heifer that I thought was a bit more feminine, a little flatter about her shoulder, a heifer that gets out and travels pretty nicely. She's just given up some power and some dimension to those two heifers in front of her. The heifer that comes out next does have more power than the one in front of her. She also has a little more, sh more shoulder. She gets a little more upright in her shoulder. When you get her out and set her into motion, just not as collected and feminine as the one in front of her. I kept moving this young man's heifer up. I think a female that if you take her chest away uh, and give her a shot more bone, I think a heifer that gets up probably into third. I think a heifer that does have some flexibility off of her hind leg. She's got a, she's got a good body and she's got nice teeth, pl teeth placement. Heifer that's just not as attractive as some of the females we had in front of her. I kept moving this heifer up in my mind as well. I know she's not 
long and extended out of her neck. But when you have that much power and dimension, uh, a female that still handles it pretty, pretty soundly, she's not just elegant necked and not swoopy bellied, but I think one that's going to make a tremendous cow because she's square and wide and has some flexibility. The red heifer we have coming out next, I thought this female, when you compare it to the one right behind her, has a bit more body. A heifer that is pretty sound. We just want to make there more of this heifer when you compare it to some of them up front of her. A fresh heifer that comes out next that I thought was sounder than the two heifers that we have that conclude the class. I think two heifers that are just really good quality. Uh, when you get into a class like this, it gets pretty tough, but these two females are really, really nice. Let's give those exhibitors a nice round of applause. Well, congratulations in class 41. First place goes to back number 60840, Pepper Elmore of Wacomas, Oklahoma, with GBC XTB Hazel H03. Second place in that class, exhibited by Jackie Sletcher with Bank Rolls Pride at 18H. Third place in that class will go to McKenna Snodgrass of Brock, Nebraska. Fourth place in that class was exhibited by Lauren Frederick. Fifth place went to Dakota Height. Six, Carson Peterson. Seventh, Levi Fagner. Eighth place in that class was exhibited by Charlie Sutherland. Ninth place, Abby Melton. And tenth place, Lane Alexander. We'll now bring in your first and seconds over here in your purebred Semental ring in selected champion reserve junior heifer. As we get out here for your last division, I think just a lot of pleasing cattle out here uh, for me. I think cattle that really as we've searched through the show, I think it's a pretty amazing. Um, the big heifers have kind of came together even easier than the calves did. Uh, I found even more females that are kind of pleasing in terms of their structure and their overall mass when, this, when they get to be this in this stage of skeletal maturity and this far along in gestation, I think that these breeders ought to be very much commended for that. The heifer out of our first class is one that I think is really appropriate in terms of size, in terms of volume for a female of her age. She's sound in terms of her structure, a heifer that balances pretty nicely, a female that's nice in the way she's designed in behind her shoulders. She's not the most massive one out here, but she's also an April female, a heifer that's given up 
given up some maturity, but I like so many things about this heifer. I think she's very complete. The heifer out of our next class was a very challenging class, a lot of differences in terms of shape and size. I thought this heifer did a really nice job of not only being really long and elegant, but with all that length and all that size, she's good in terms of her foot placement. A heifer that when you analyze her, she's still really good in terms of her top line and has a lot of body for a heifer that's that long. When you compare her to the ones on both sides of her, she's maybe not quite as broody and cowy uh, as those two heifers, but one that I like a lot. The heifer out of her last class, I think, just does some really intriguing things. You know, if you're going to be nitpicky, you could say she could have just a shot more in her forehead behind her shoulders. I've never gotten rid of a cow for that. Where I, where I think she's uh, exceptional is if I find one that's got foot size and bone and ruggedness and that kind of power and still elegant and still moves like that, I call her a donor. That's going to be your division champion. Congratulations. Well, congratulations, your champion junior heifer in this division will go to Pepper Elmore, Wacomas, Oklahoma, with GBC XTB Hazel H03. We bring that heifer that was second in there. She's definitely in contention because she's so fresh and elegant. I like that she's far along in terms of her gestation. When I compare her to the heifer up in front, I don't think there's as much dimension in that female in terms of just overall power. I don't think there's as much bone and foot size. We're going to go with the heifer out of our first class for reserve. Well, congratulations over here in the key ring, Class 8, first place, went to back number 5267, exhibited by Wyatt Dunklow of Nebraska. Second place, went to back number 5261, exhibited by Kinnick Paulson. Third place, went to back number 5263, Sophia McCoon. And fourth place in that class, exhibited by Madison Fraser. We'll now look for Class 9 key females, born March of 2020. For those of you sitting in the stands over here in ring one, we are excited to welcome you, our champion and reserve champion division winners here in your junior purebred Semental show. For those of you sitting ringside, put, please put your hands together for our judge today, Mr. Tyler Cates.
Well, as we get out here, uh, it's my final drive of the day, and I just want to say what an honor it's been uh, to be able to judge at the first two Cattlemen's Congresses, judge a breed of this prestige and this quality. Uh, it doesn't matter how many shows you've judged, every single one of them means the world to you. And uh, no one says this job is easy. It's definitely not a, a thank, thankful job, uh, but it is so much fun. And, you know, it's, it's nice. I can take what, uh, what my family and God have given me uh, and be able to come out here and, you know, present myself and my opinion. Uh, it means the world to me. I want to thank so many people. I want to, besides, I want to thank the Cattlemen's Congress and the Simital Association uh, for asking me to judge. I want to thank my wonderful wife, Courtney, for all the support that she gives me. Uh, I know I'm not the easiest person to be married to. I know I'm always working and I'm never around. And I apologize, but thank you for everything you do to support me. Thank you to my daughter, Piper, who... Uh, May or may not be at home. She, she's, she's into some other things right now, uh, probably more than watching Dad judge, but she is the, uh, the other love of my life. Um, when I see all of you walking around with your kids here, uh, it makes it really hard uh, not being able to be with her uh, because she is my everything. I want to thank my family, uh, my parents, uh, my uncle, um, and his family, uh, without them and putting me uh, and allowing me to have a junior show career and putting me in this place and their support, I certainly never would have gotten anywhere. Um, and I, I want to thank my herdsman, Kyle Shuffler, and all of my tremendous help uh, back taking care of two breeds. And we have 27-ish uh, shorehorns here after we just had three days of show days in a row and early mornings in the Angus uh, I want to thank those guys so much because it allows me to be able to do this. Uh, I get I get early mornings. I get what it takes at home, and uh, I want you all to know that. Most, mostly, um, like I said, I'm just fortunate. I always ask why I had been put in the position that I had uh, to God, and and why things had kind of went my way and allowed me to get to this point and. I think it was, I came to the conclusion that um, as the world progresses and we get into different things and different things happen in the world, um, he put me here to stand up in front of you and tell you I'm a believer. He told me to be here and uh, tell you that with, without Christ, uh, it's a waste of time. And uh, I think that that's the most important thing today. I have had a blast and uh, let's give these breeders, your association, and these showmen a nice round of applause, and I'll go pick the champion reserve today. Well, congratulations, your grand champion purebred Simmental heifer here at the Cattlemen's Congress goes to Pepper Elmore, Wacomas, Oklahoma, with GBC XTB Hazel H03.
And congratulations, your reserve grand champion, purebred Simmental Heifer, goes to Montana Halsmeyer Herod, Ohio, with TJSC knockout 401H. Once again, congratulations to our junior Simmental exhibitors, and a special thank to our judge today, Mr. Tyler Cates.